Hello everybody. Oh my goodness, the music. The music still gives me chills when I when I start the game up. I'm so happy. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to the Talos Principle 2. The DLC is out. I am so excited. I am so so excited to play this. Yeah, it is. It's such a tone shift from like my really happy jolly bright starting music and then suddenly ominous prometheus like <laughs> it's a little bit of a change but welcome in everybody happy sunday welcome to um talos it's it's not talos tuesday it's not talos thursday it's just talos next available day <laughs> as soon as i realized this was coming out on friday i was immediately like okay well i know what i've scheduled for that sunday stream <laughs> Like, I think... 
No, I'm not actually sure. I was I was gonna say I think if I hadn't finished out a wilds DLC, I would have still just played this, but no, I I don't think I would. I think I would have figured out a time during the week to play this, but I there's there's no way I'm not playing it. As soon as it came out, I was just like, I must, I must play it. I'm I'm so excited. Like this this was one of my favorite games of last year. Like the, I this game has given me so much joy. I love it so much. I am just like the biggest Talos Principle fan. Like I, it's like a little part of me does still prefer the first game for like the story and tone and stuff, but I have no idea what the DLC is going to be like. So I am, I am just so ready to get back into this world. I'm so ready to, to find out more, to get more. And also, Yay, harder puzzles. I'm 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 just I'm really really excited for harder puzzles. I, I want I want the difficulty. I I hunger for it. I'm going to feed on these harder puzzles. But I, I'm pres presuming the harder puzzles will be the later on ones. The impression I get from like the the very quick glance of the store page that I did is that they're probably going to be like different levels of difficulty for each of the three DLC things. So I'm very curious to know how that's going to go. But uh, before we start, let me let me actually greet everybody. <laughs> I'm just so excited about Talos. I'm immediately just here starting to talk about it. Let me let me say hi to everyone first. Hi. Hi everyone. I hope everyone's had a good weekend. Mine has been longing to play this game. <laughs> But Lumsev, congratulations on the first. Welcome, welcome. And thank you so much for basically buying this for me as well with the donation. <laughs> thank you so much. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, Akira. Thank you for testing the sound alerts as always. Rika, hello. Thank you for the, the hidden head pattern, the starting screen. Grace, the no, hello. Adds, I need to see this Merino one pout. Ah, Bell. Bell, thank you for the resub. Don't worry, you haven't missed anything yet. No more ads. No more ads. Be gone. Thank you so much for resubbing. Hi. But Grace, no, hello. Oh, that's definitely, definitely okay if it's getting late for you and you have to head off. But thank you for stopping in. Thank you, and I, I hope your work goes well tomorrow too. Uh, I also, I also have to work tomorrow, but I'm still probably gonna stay up really late playing this. I do not care. I do not care. It's Talos' turn. <laughs> also, Bree, hello! Uh, should be good for the first three hours, but I might pass you around then. You are... You have a lot of confidence in my ability to not get very distracted and off track. <laughs> I think you'll probably be okay. This is... I Most of the people I know finished the game in like 30 to 40 hours. My final playthrough count was like 70? <laughs> so... It's it's going to take me a while to get through this, but I'm very excited for it. Oh my goodness, and another sub! Plutonic Lamb, thank you so much! Thank you so much for the Prime sub, thank you. It is very, very appreciated. But a uh, Primal Z, hello, hello. A TJM, hello, <laughs> Talos Sunday. Talos Sunday, we'll just make it like one word, Talos Sunday. The S continues the words along. <laughs> But welcome, welcome. Uh, Ariel as well, hello. Welcome in. Thank you for the, the head pats as well while I'm getting distracted by many things going on. And Artem, lovely to see you as well. Oh, you caught Outer Wilds, uh, but you missed last week. Did I get to any ideas on why the prisoner did the thing? Yeah, the, the impression I got from the ending, uh, Outer Wilds spoilers for the DLC now for like maybe a minute. <laughs> I'm I wasn't sure to begin with but after talking to them like in the ending I think they wanted help like I, I think they released the signal they were hoping that somebody else would notice it and come and save them and that clearly did not work out but I, I think that was probably their reason behind it there's still like a lot that I still question, but I do still have to go back and do all the achievements and stuff too, so there may still be little bits I've missed. Like, it's not the end of Outer Wilds. Like, I've, I've, I've done, like, quote-unquote done the endings, but I do want to get the achievements. Like, if that's going to be an ongoing thing, I'm not done with it. 
<laughs> I'm not done with Outer Wilds. There will be more. But it won't be, like, dedicated set streams. Like, they'll still be, I'll still be scheduling them when they happen, so the Outer Wilds fans know when I'm going to do it. But it's not going to be, like, an every week kind of thing, if that makes sense. I think it does. I hope it does. But yes, Val, thank you for the sub. Plutonic Lamp, thank you for the sub. And Jack, hello! Oh, thank you for the hydrate! Thank you for hydration. Let me open my can. Let me have a sip. Sip of my monster. I've got the, the monster, monster Energy Ultra Rosa today. I've got the pink can. Purely because it's the one I have the most cans of. So, <laughs> so I'm going to be having quite a few roses. I need to get some more peach ones. I really like the peach ones. I need to add those to my to my throne because the peach ones are so nice. But uh, well, yes, welcome, welcome in everybody. Yeah, there's there's still probably plenty more to discuss about Outer Wilds, but do not fear, there will be more Outer Wilds streams in the future. Like mostly because I want to talk about it too. Now that I'm now that I'm progressing as much as I have, like now that I've done the endings, question mark. I've gotten a lot of the way through, so I definitely want like Outer Wilds, like theory, discussion, figuring things out together, going through the plot and stuff. That thing's, I think that would be like a really fun thing, like dropping the, the back seating rules or like not dropping them, relaxing them. I, I don't want to say dropping because I feel like people will try the, <laughs> try the luck. It's like the main reason why I always have such strict back seating rules is because even if I don't mind something sometimes, if I start being okay with that, there are always people who try and push it further and further until it gets unbearable. So I just like, I stop it before it can get to that point. <laughs> but yes, back on Talos hype now. I'm so excited for this. And Snail Fishies, hello, welcome, welcome. But yeah, I am so excited for this. It's so funny because Xander's been playing it too, my brother. So every now and then, like, he'll come downstairs and I'll be like, are you having fun with the, the DLC? And he'll just smile at me. And it's so funny. He's just like, he'll just nod and go like, yeah. I'm not telling you anything, but yeah. <laughs> so I'm really, I'm really looking forward to it. I don't know much about what to expect because I, I saw the trailer and I saw like little snippets of it and I was like, I don't want to know too much. It looked like they were giving away puzzle solutions in the trailer and I didn't want that. So I, I kind of averted my eyes. <laughs> so I really don't know much. All I know is like the, the titles of them. They all seem to have very different tones, which is I'm guessing why they did it as like a three pack instead of the way they did Road to Gehenna, which was more of like a big... That was all connected to the Gehenna story, so it was just one area. It feels like three separate branches to go in. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that. I'm very excited. Where's my cursor gone? There it is. Okay. But I'm... I've... I've... Oh, I'm... <laughs> I'm really excited because for me... Uh, when when I played Talos 1, I really loved the first Talos game. But it's Road to Gehenna, the DLC, that really like solidified it as... Do I want... You know what? I'm gonna say it. My favorite game. I think at this point... I'm, I'm gonna outright say it. I think the Talos Principle is my favorite game. It's, it, it's just... I'm, I'm trying to think of something that I would put higher than the Talos Principle, and I can't think of anything. I think I would call it my favorite game. That's that's the first time I've like outright said that. I, I'm usually very vague with favorite game stuff, because it always feels a bit unfair to compare just video games in general, because there are so many different varieties, different genres, it feels a bit unfair to, like, put a rhythm action game against a puzzle story philosophy game, but but no, I'm gonna say it. Talos 1 is my, my favorite game. But, yeah, but it was really, like, it was Road to Gehenna that 
put it up there for me. And it's like similar with Outer Wilds too. Like I had such an incredible time with Outer Wilds, but playing the DLC as well definitely bumped it up on my list a little bit more. Like I already adored it. And then it just added bonus points. <laughs> so I'm excited for this because I, I want to know where what's going to happen. Ah, oh, what's the need to know as we get started on DLC? Ah, oh, there's base game spoilers in DLC. Yes, Talos 2 DLC absolutely assumes you know every spoiler from the base game. That that makes sense then. So it's very much, uh, if if you don't want to be spoiled for Talos, for Talos 2, uh, I've played through the entire game. So there will be spoilers. Probably like as I'm speaking to you, I'll probably be mentioning the game and things in that. So if you're trying to avoid spoilers, <laughs> please beware, be wary of spoilers. But also Bob, hello, thank you for the hydrate. Sorry, I needed to carry on with my sentence. Otherwise I would have forgotten what I was saying. But thank you for the hydrate and for throwing things at me. Have a little sip of my monster. Oh, I actually have to, uh, I have to message you. I meant to message you earlier, Bob, as well. Um, I tried adding the pride hearts as like throwables, but the, the text just didn't show up. They're just like blank hearts. So I'm not sure why that is. <laughs> so I, I meant to message you and then I fully forgot and I feel like I would forget again. So I, that's why I'm just saying it right now, but. <laughs> But yes, if you want to avoid spoilers, I fully understand if you have to lurk or leave. But I'm, it's its so good. It's such a good game. I, lo I love Talos. I love the Talos principle so much. It's so good. Yeah, Outer Worlds is your all-time number one, but both Talos games are high up there. Yeah, it's like... I think for me, the only reason Outer Worlds isn't higher up is because I prefer the the more relaxed solving puzzles at my own pace kind of thing. And even though Outer Wilds is still quite good with that, there's still that like tension of the, the time limits. And that that's like a purely, purely a me thing. That is that is purely because I just don't do well with time limits. <laughs> but it's, it's just such a great story and adventure and like the discovery in it, like those moments of piecing things together and the realization, they are, Chef's kits, they're so good. They're so good. But ah, uh, oh weird, you could import them. Yeah, have a look at that. Yeah, I'm I, I'm not sure why it is, because like the it shows up itself, like in the program, but it doesn't have any texture. But yeah, I wanted to mention it, but I, <laughs> I figured I'd probably forget again, so I just mentioned now. Yeah, Xander. Oh, I forgot to mention that too. Xander completely spoiled me for Talos 2 earlier. He fully spoiled me on the fact that there's a giant Pac-Man style Miku head that eats you halfway through. Like we were just standing in the kitchen. We were making lunch, I think. And he just turns around and spoils the game like that. So now I know that massive plot point that definitely happens in this game. <laughs> So I got that to look forward to. <laughs> but yeah, Xander's been playing it. And thank you for the lurk as well, Bob. I know it's super late. But I hope you rest well as well. And thank you for stopping in. And I'll send you a screenshot after the stream. Let me... Hold on. I'm going to write it down so I don't forget. There we go. I made a little post-it with Bob written on it so I don't forget. <laughs> Oh, can't ban a mod! <laughs> Did you try? <laughs> I mean, I probably could, but I also don't want to go through the hassle of remodding him, so I'm, I'm too lazy for that. Oh, does Miku Pagman still say Waka Waka, or is it Miku Miku? I think it would be Miku Miku. Miku 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 Miku. My brain is full of Miku Pagman now. I'm. This is not a good spot to be in. I've got to say, like, a little part of me is slightly worried about this stream because my my head has been completely empty all weekend. I've had a full, no thoughts, head empty, not a brain cell to be found kind of weekend. 
So the, I'm, I'm hoping that starting the game will inspire my brain to work again because it's maybe maybe it's just been lying dormant like i'm i'm just saving them i'm saving all the brain cells for tonight <laughs> yeah exactly exactly i'm saving it for now i'm fully rested i've i've given my brain a break so it's ready to go full throttle this head is so empty you can fit so many tetrominoes in here <laughs> but i'm i'm so excited i'm really really looking forward to this Right, let's click play. Oh, it shows up like this. Haha, -ha. so that's like the base game. And then we've got Orpheus Ascending, Isle of the Blessed, and Into the Abyss. That's that's what I'm excited for. <laughs> that's, yes, I'm, I'm ready for that. But I'm going to go in order. <laughs> I figured it, it probably makes sense to just go like one, two, three. So I'm going to start with Orpheus Ascending. Uh, take your brain for a ride through the laser grid. I love lasers. And explore the philosophy of love, death, and resurrection with Hypatia and Sarabai. <gasps> oh, the... Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. New Alexandria. <laughs> the classic laser mechanics of the series are pushed to the limit in unexpected ways, testing your ability to think differently. This, this is everything I wanted. This is everything I wanted. Hold on, I'm, I'm having some more monster. <laughs> this is what I want. I'm excited. Uh, you can play in any order, but the story order is one, two, three. Okay, that makes sense, yeah. I'll just do it story order then, because... So we go lasers, and then this says medium difficulty, and then that says extremely difficult. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go one, two, three. <laughs> It makes the most sense. I'm here for the story as well as the puzzles. I'll take my time to get to the extremely difficult ones because then the payoff is more fun. <laughs> now let's, let's start. Orpheus Ascending. I'm, I'm so excited. Here. New game. I like that all of these have three save slots as well. If a thing loves, it is infinite. William Blake. Uh, also, the settings I have at the moment, I've left it on the settings from when I was playing the game last. I do have the ray tracing on. I don't know what the performance will be like. I don't know if I'll have to turn that off at some point. But if I do, then I will simply go into the settings and change it. All right. I think that's it. The new body's ready for the transfer. How's the reassembly algorithm? Done. Well then, somebody just needs to go in there and disentangle the data. Ah, and here comes our expert. Me. I'm so good at detangling data. <laughs> Thank you for agreeing to this one, Kay. Perhaps together we can right an old wrong. When I was lost in my own grief, I spent a lot of time thinking about Hypatia and Cerebi. Oh my goodness. How they found each other, how they lost each other and how beautiful it would be if we could reunite them. For the longest time, it was only a daydream, but not anymore. In the myth of Orpheus, the ancient bard descends into the underworld to bring back his beloved wife, who died in a tragic accident. Oh, With the power of his music, he convinces Hades and Persephone to free her. But he is told that she must walk behind him, and he must not look back at her until they have left the yeah. underworld. And so, of course, in every version of the myth, he looks back. Because he doesn't trust the gods, or because he is an imperfect man, or because he simply forgets. And death is triumphant once again. We've accepted that triumph for a long time, because we had to, because what else could we do? But the world changes, and we are not the frightened, powerless creatures we once were. <laughs> Perhaps it's time to say enough and let Orpheus complete his ascent. 
Oh, what a start. What a start. Oh my goodness. Whoa. I'm here. I'm here. You will have to collect all of Cerebi's data fragments so that we can reconstruct her personality. I'll monitor you from here, just like last time. Good luck, kiddo. Th thanks. I might, I might need it. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Also, Mama, hello. And Lyra, hello, welcome, welcome. Oh, I think because the ray tracing is an algorithm that's hard baked into the RTX cards, it should be fine. Oh, it's, it's mostly just, there were some situations in the base game, mostly the areas that just had loads of trees, where I had to turn down a bunch of the graphic settings if I wanted to uh, move. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes, but it doesn't look like there's gonna be many trees here. I think it should be okay. We will see how it goes. Ah, speaking of Orpheus, Hades Town is a good show. I've never heard of that. I've not heard of that show before. Maybe I should look it up. I really love mythology, everything to do with mythology. Oh, I got a golden door here. I see. Oh, hello. Okay, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I feel like the. I feel like my mouse is more sensitive. Turn it down just a little bit. And see what that's like. Yeah, that's a bit better, I think. <laughs> oh my goodness, there's a terminal here! There's a terminal! Also, let me know if I have to turn the music down as well, because the... It does feel a little bit loud to me. I'm not sure if it's too loud compared to me. Yeah, I, th I think I'll turn it. I'll just turn all the sound down. Master volume, let's make it 50. Let's see what that's like. That it's it's still a bit loud, but I think this is a bit better. It's also really nice music though, so I kind of just wanna play it really loudly. <laughs> no, I think I I think for background music it's it's still a little loud. Just let's do like 42. The answer to life, the universe, and everything. No, I think, yeah, I'm a tiny bit more. It's... I'll go 38. That, that feels like a good number. I feel like it just got louder as I did that, but I think it's just the part of the song. But yeah, I think this is good. Wait, I'm a monster? Wait, why? What did I... Did I do something? Why am I a monster? Did I do something bad? Is it changing? It, it felt like it was changing for me. No, not a multiple of five. I see. See, if you want a monster, that's that's Xander's domain. Xander will actively set the TV volume to 27 just because he knows it pains me. I'll, I'll be like, please, just at least make it an even number, and he won't. He'll be like, nah, this is this is good at this level. This this is a 27. Oh, is it still a bit quiet? Okay, let's go to 29. And I'm like, just make it 30, please. There we go. I think I think that's that should be good. That should be all right. It feels like it's changing like the the tiniest amounts. But good times. Ah, oh, please listen when I, oh when I get the chance. Oh, I I didn't know that. I I've, I've got to check it out. I got to check it out. <laughs> but uh thank you for the hydrate too. I'm I, I am what I drink. Sip for my monster. I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, Xander, you're the worst. Just it's a prime number or multiple of seven. Those are my options. Well, okay, I'll go for thirty-five then, please. Thank you. <laughs> That's a multiple of seven. You can't argue against thirty-five now. 
Right, anyway, I'm so excited there's a computer terminal here. There's, oh! Oh! Welcome to the internal messaging system, version 0.4 user Sarabai. You have three unread messages. Cannot access, not goodbye, cannot access. Well, I guess not goodbye. Also, I noticed they fixed the thing with the terminals with the terminal size. Because before it felt like even though I was doing like, I changed all of the settings to be like largest text, it didn't seem to change. This is definitely larger text. I'm very happy. <laughs> yeah, not goodbye. From Hypatia to Sarabai. Subject, not goodbye. I don't know what this is. I don't know why I'm writing this. In all likelihood, you can't even read this because so little of your consciousness is left and what's left of your battery is dying. They say it's impossible to recover you and the backups were all destroyed. I wish we'd backed ourselves up in New Jerusalem before we left, but space was so limited and we would have had to wait so long. Except, of course, it's nothing compared to the empty years that stretch before me now. I don't have the words to express what you mean to me. I tried to sum it all up, to say something elegant and beautiful and perfect, and I can't. Maybe it can't be said. Maybe it only exists as days and years lived together. A sequence of moments bound together like a string of lights defying the darkness of the sky. I don't know. All I know is that this is not goodbye. It may be the end of you, of us, of who I was, but I will not say goodbye. Love you forever. Hypatia. <laughs> My heart already. Oh, they did it in an earlier patch. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. I I haven't I haven't touched it since since I, I finished. So I I've seen the patches going out and I've been downloading them, but I've I've not like booted up the game. I've been waiting for the DLC. Uh, also, if I have sprint on toggle instead of hold, it won't deactivate. We're walking backwards anymore. Let's go. That's so good. There's also another thing I noticed that made me very happy. When I saw this, sounds in photo mode, keep playing. I'm so glad they added that. I'm really, really glad they added that. <laughs> we won't have to have the horrible, like, um, techno Christmas background music anymore. But that made me very happy. Right. I guess one, two, three, four seems like a good place to start, but also... Okay, all this... Okay, 16. Yeah, I guess I should go this way first. Let's go over here. Uh, hey, now that I've seen the setting of this area, can you send a non-spoilery screenshot you managed to take? Uh, okay. Wow. Number one. Hold on, I, I, I want to see this screenshot. How did you manage that? Xander, what did you- what? Hold on, I'm showing this on screen a second. <laughs> Xander got a really good screenshot of the game. Um, look at that. Look at that. Wow, that is impressive. I'm impressed. <laughs> good job. Nice photography. I'm, I'm, I'm a fan. I think you did well. But yeah, I, like, when I was on the main menu, I was checking the sound options for the sound levels to check that it hadn't, like, reset my settings or anything. And that's when I noticed the photo mode thing, and I was like, this is so good, and I'm so glad. But right, let's start with puzzle number one. I'm, I'm so ready. Yield. What if I don't want to? Oh, I guess the tutorials again. I guess the tutorials again. That was not a sentence. Uh, I guess the, the tooltips that pop up when you pick up an item for the first time are reset when you start a new area again. That's, that's what I meant to say. Right, okay, how do I do this? Because this is all 
already connected and then I can't bring this through. Hmm. I do that. Oh no, the, 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 the laser's here. Oh wait, no, that's easy. That's so easy. That, will that block that again? Yeah, okay, it will block it. I run fast enough. Let's try it. Let's see if I can run fast enough. Oh my goodness, there's a raid! Hold on, let me... I'm just gonna stand here in this laser beam for a second while the raid happens. Actually, maybe not in laser beam. Maybe I will come back here a little bit. But hello, Alice! Welcome! Welcome on in, raiders! Welcome! How's it going? Seal raid! I love seals. I love seals so much. Hello, welcome! Welcome to the stream to anyone who's new here. Hello. I'm Liri. I'm I'm I've I've I apparently just forgot how to speak. Hold on. Let me try that again. <laughs> Hello. I'm Liri. I'm a pink-haired cat girl from the UK and I love comfy games and puzzle games and I love the Talos principle so much. And I've just started the DLC. I am in the first puzzle right now. I've I've gotten very far in half an hour as you can see by just talking. <laughs> but welcome! I see you are playing Talos 2 as well. Are you playing the, the base game or are you playing the DLC as well? I hope you had a good stream. Thank you for bringing the raid this way. I'm a, I'm a big puzzle game fan. I play a lot of puzzle games here. I, I just recently finished Outer Wilds and the DLC for that. I recently finished... Uh, case of the golden idol which was really really good i've got a couple other games lined up to play as well but as soon as this came out i was like well this this takes priority now this is definitely what i'm playing next <laughs> oh you just started the dlc as well oh i hope you're having fun with it i hope you i hope you've been having a good time with it i'm 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 just like so ecstatic at the thought of playing this game again because i just love it so much. I I love everything about these games. So I'm really excited for playing more, but it's Ah, uh, I'm I'm really excited. I I'm so like I'm I'm still in like the state of I can't wait to play this game. I'm so excited that that's like the only thought running through my <laughs> my brain at the moment. <laughs> it's just me going on. I love Talos. I love puzzles. I I love game game fun and good and lasers. And uh, I'm currently about to see if I can just run fast enough for this, so... Wah! No, okay, I can't. Right, so we gotta figure out another way here. Like, the fact that I can't... I've locked it with the other laser. That's that's not actually what I was planning to do in my head, but that worked. Lock it with that laser, just got another laser. That worked. <laughs> Yay, I'm so glad. Oh, thank you for the follow as well. Thank you so much. Thanks for deciding to stick around. Hope you enjoy your time here. And oh, you enjoying it just got to the point where you think your brain was dying. <laughs> that's very fair. That is a very common thing in puzzle games. But if you're tired out after your stream, if you have to go rest or get some food or drink, please don't feel like you have to stick around. But if you do want to stick around, I'm I'm so excited to play this. But thank you so much for bringing the raid this way. It's so funny because it's like it's close to what I was imagining in my head would happen. But as soon as it happened, I was like, no, that makes so much more sense. That was the warm up. <laughs> I feel like a lot of this is going to be warm-ups. It's going to be me slowly remembering how to play the game after half a year of not playing it. Oh, wow. Okay, let's get our first... First fragment? Ooh. 
When I was born, the first thing I felt was that I was alone. Not that I was lonely, but that I was separate, ah. singular. There was the world and there was myself, a contained entity. And this sense of separation, of a distinct self, was delightful. Individuality itself was a source of constant joy and wonder. What could be more incredible than to be able to say, I am? We have the first fragment. Everything's looking good on our end. Oh, it's so nice hearing Miranda. It's so, it makes me so happy hearing Miranda. <laughs> oh, oh, quite hungry, so you'll go get dinner, but you'll look. Oh, thank you so much. I hope you have lovely dinner. I hope you get delicious food. But yes, I, I already know I'm going to have so much fun with this. I'm so excited. But yes, thank you so much for the raid. And anyone who came along from the raid as well, if you want to stick around too, it's, it's, I, I will definitely get smarter as things go on. I think I need, I need a little bit of warm up time to remember how to do anything. But I'm getting there. Right, this is so narrow. Okay, number two. Crossing the river. Oh, wow. Well, I think this is going to be very similar to before. It's going to be about blocking... Blocking a lot of the... the lasers. Like, connect to everything and hopefully block some lasers along the way. Having it go in so many directions. Block off that, block off that, block off that. Oh, I need one more! I need to, I need one more, but now that I've got one here as well, I can then use that one and directly just do that. Ha ha. Oh wait, no, from, oh, I think I need to do this in two directions. Hold on. Okay, I don't know what I clicked on by accident. <laughs> I thought I'd already clicked on that. Maybe I clicked on the, the laser behind it by accident. But there we go. But hello, raiders. Hello, everyone who came in from the raid. I love lasers. I'm so, I'm so excited for loads of laser puzzles. Oh, I did. I I see, I thought I'd clicked on this, which was why I was so confused when it wasn't connecting. <laughs> That's alright, that was just an eyesight problem. I can fix those. <laughs> As I grew, I realized that the more I developed this sense of self, the more enjoyable it became simply to exist. It wasn't selflessness that improved existence, uh -huh. but refinement of the self. When the ancients said that ego is something to set aside, they got it all wrong. Ego is mm. something to nourish and shape. A work of art. I agree. I'm, I'm like everything in moderation. The reconstruction's working. Keep going, 1K. Actually, I, I thought I was just going to stop now, you know, like, I don't feel like puzzles anymore. Uh, uh, you've got to go. There's so much you want to say about the laser puzzles in this part. Oh, that's yeah, that's that's okay. I I can't wait for tomorrow. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna be being like, oh my goodness, okay, all these lasers. I love lasers. I love laser puzzles. Wow, sequence. <gasps> oh. Okay, I'm gonna have a look before I start randomly connecting things. Except maybe that, I think I do connect that to here. Uh... Right, so... Oh! Accumulator! Oh no, this is easy. I know how to do this. Oh, maybe not. Hold on. 
Oh no, not with this button here. Oh no, yeah, I'm just gonna do the same thing I did before. I'll just like block the laser. Like I'll do this and I'll connect it with that and that and that. And so just by doing this, it will block the laser. at this point, so then it will accumulate in there. So that should do it. Boom. Yeah, like that. Haha. -ha. Gotcha. I love lasers. I love lasers. I'm here for lasers. I think, like, thinking about the base Talos 2 game, I think the, the laser puzzles My are insights into the, the value I of the self were genuine, I think. But of course, I was completely inexperienced. In fact, in many ways, I was like a human child. So I began to resent everything that intruded on that sense of self. My social obligations to the Time others, the leadership of Athena and Cornelius, even the obvious limitations imposed on us by our situation. Why did I have to exist in this particular historical moment, saddled with the task of reconstructing civilization? Ah, uh, the, the teenage angst. Period. Oh, oh, glitchy. Yep. Oh, we do know that everything is scattered in here. It makes sense there's a few glitches. But ah, oh, Lucas Armory, hello. Yo, mad I got yield that quickly. Honestly, I did get lucky with that one. I will fully admit that. But uh, I think it wouldn't have taken me long either way as well. Because, like, it's just... I think the laser ones are the ones that, like my brain instinctively makes sense of more like out of all the mechanics in talos i think the lasers are my favorites i, I love lasers i'm a big laser fan oh and we got another terminal oh critical error all systems compromised files recoverable uh let's get peace let's recover peace ah an Ethical Philosophy of Life by Felix Adler. Use are highlighted. It is upon those we love that we must anchor ourselves spiritually in the last moments. The sense of interconnectedness with them stands out vividly by way of contrast at the very moment when our mortal connection with them is about to be dissolved. And the intertwining of our life with theirs, the living in the life that is in them, is but a part of our living in the infinite manifold of the spiritual life. The thought of this, as apprehended, not in terms of knowledge, but in immediate experience, begets the peace that passeth understanding. And it is upon the bosom of that peace that we can pass safely out of the realm of time and space. Peace indeed. Okay, this cat girl, what, cause she cooking? I'm, I, I can only cook with lasers. <laughs> I love lasers. I, I'm, I'm very fond of lasers. But yes, oh, I'm, I'm really excited. Like, knowing this is going to be laser puzzles has gotten me even more excited. Right, let's recover God. <laughs> ah. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Uh, essays, first series by Ralph Waldo Emerson. Use are highlighted. Thus we are put in training for a love which knows not sex, nor person, nor partiality, but which seeks virtue and wisdom everywhere to the end of increasing virtue and wisdom. We are, by nature, observers and thereby learners. That is our permanent state, but we are often made to feel that our affections are but tents of a night. Though slowly and with pain, the objects of the affections change as the objects of thought do. There are moments when the affections rule and absorb the man and make his happiness dependent on a person or persons. But in health, the mind is presently seen again, its overarching vault, bright with galaxies of immutable lights, and the warm, uh, the warm loves and fears that swept over us as clouds must lose their finite character and blend with God to attain their own perfection. Ooh, 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 ooh. Right, let's recover eternity. Revealed, oh, eternity revealed by, by Theo Erkenwald. User highlighted. In what sense am I a Christian then, if I care so little for dogma? In the sense that in everything that I do and think I follow the rev... 
Oh, in the sense that in everything that I do and think, I follow the revelation of Jesus Christ, that the greatest of all things is love. Love is the nature of God and so equally the nature of that which was created in his image. This I have learnt through the revelation that is daily life, through toil and misery and strife, and that infinite power which brings relief and joy. Thus I reject those who believe that the ordinary love of mortal beings is limited and that it ends with death. Rather, it is through love that we perceive the immortality of the soul, for it reveals that eternity is conceivable to the human mind when it is filled with love. It is because we know that we can love another forever that we know that we are the children of God. All right, pain. Archived emails, username corrupted. Ooh. I don't have much time left. I never thought it would end this way. Never thought I would die alone, sitting around in my apartment, wondering if things would have gone differently if we'd gotten that stupid grant. Mostly, though, I just wonder why we're not together. I still don't understand. I don't know why you had so much pain inside you. I don't know why you let it infect everything we had. I don't know why you couldn't see my love for you, why you twisted everything I said. I was angry and disappointed for so long, but now I just wish I could have found some way to make that pain go away. I would give anything for that. I wish you were here. Oh. Whew. Wow. Wow, okay, so... <laughs> Much to think about immediately. I don't want to draw conclusions yet until I have more information, but I'm... Having a thought. Well, I'm, I'm having a few thoughts. A couple of them, maybe. <laughs> Alright, let's do number four. We've got vastness. Oh. Oh, hi. start by getting you out, I guess. Yep. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. Oh my goodness, raid! Another raid time! Hi, Nui! Hi, how's it going? Welcome, welcome! How was the date with death? I... I, I saw when death was uh, flying out your window earlier. <laughs> I hope you had a very fun date with death. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. To anyone who's new here, hello. I'm Liri. I'm a pink-haired cat girl from the UK, and I love comfy games and puzzle games, and it's puzzle time. It is very much puzzle time right now. I've just started the DLC for the Talos Principle 2, which was... One of my favorite games of last year. I'm I love this game. And I'm very excited for more. For more game and more puzzles and more lasers. Lots of lasers at the moment. I'm very, very excited. Ah, oh, I took that man's hand in marriage! Oh yes. The best result. I, I'm, I'm I'm hoping that's the best result. <laughs> but oh I hope you had a, a fun stream. Thank you so much for bringing the raid this way. I look forward to paying it back on Wednesday. <laughs> but welcome in, welcome in everybody. Uh, welcome in raiders. Uh, I, if anyone wants to stick around, you're welcome. I, I feel like my brain's just gone empty again. I don't know why this keeps happening. I just... <laughs> if you have to head off after your stream, I, I know it's getting late. So if you have to rest or get some food or drink, I should hydrate. I'm going to hydrate before the dictionary redeem. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for the hydrate. Please replenish brain cells. I'm just so all over the place. I need... I need more lasers. I think... I think that's the solution. I think I just need to connect a bunch of lasers. And then my brain will be back on track. But... Uh, <laughs> but thank you so much for bringing the raid this way. And I'm... I'm glad you had a good stream. Let's see what the word of the day is for our dictionary narration redeem. We have the letter E. Get my dictionary. Letter E, we have... <laughs> we have execution. This... I'm, I'm very glad that I'm pretty sure this word is not relevant to the stream this time. But uh, execution. It's a noun. 
uh, one, the carrying out or performance of something. Oh, I guess I am executing solutions to these puzzles. I guess that is true. Or two, the killing of a person who has been condemned to death. Or three, the way in which something is produced or carried out. Like the, the execution of the task here is that I'm going to connect a bunch of lasers. Actually, that was more relevant than I thought it would be. My brain immediately went for the um, the killing of someone who's been condemned to death definition. <laughs> but no, it, it is fitting. I'm, I'm executing the solutions to these puzzles. But thank you for the dictionary redeem and also the hydrate. And for the raid, and if anyone wants to stick around from the raid, I'm doing some puzzles. We're having a, a comfy, cozy puzzle time with lasers. Right, so that is closed. So to open that... How do I open that? Hold on. Well, that's blue over there. Ooh, hold on. Oh, there's a blue laser. No, the blue laser is back there. How do I... Oh no, it's connected to that red one. Okay. I see the I see the cable on the, the floor now. That door is connected to that one there. So if I do that, that'll open the door. And if I do that and also connect it to there, I can block that laser. Haha. -ha. No, I, I did it at the wrong angle. <laughs> Never mind, hold on, I gotta move this so I can block it. Right, so if I put this like here, it should work, I think. Maybe? Yeah, that should work. That should block it then. So now that is open. Now I do that. That'll block that red one and then connect it to the door. Yeah, I'm getting the hang of this section. <laughs> I'm getting the hang of these puzzles. I can't wait for it to immediately change to another mechanic in the next section. With that okay. focus on the self, also came an enormous and increasingly overwhelming fear of death. The pleasure of existence seemed almost erased by the possibility of its ending. If it was possible not to be, if the self had an ending, even in the distant future, then how could anything have meaning? I spent far too much time imagining that last moment, the moment just before I stopped existing. How could I possibly face that? How very human. Wait, there's a QR code here. Oh my goodness, there's QRs, there's QRs. There is no greater joy than discovering something that you had never imagined. In that moment, you understand that the world is better than it seems. I've got to look around. There's going to be QR codes now. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I've got to... Oh. <laughs> I've got to look for QR codes now. Oh, oh, oh. 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 <laughs> yes. Unknown error. I, I will decode that afterwards. Nice. <gasps> Hello. <laughs> If you get stuck, I've inserted some code that might help you bypass a few puzzles. It's not oh. the most elegant work I've ever done, but it'll do the job. So instead of a Prometheus flame, there are now Cornelius flames. I see. I'm not going to use any of those. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. oh, I love being rewarded for looking around a bunch. I'm so excited. I wonder if there'll be any in puzzle rooms as well. I have to look everywhere now. I'm... Oh my goodness, look at that. Wait, I didn't even... Oh. <laughs> look at that. Hold on, can I... Can I connect to this thing? No, I think that has to be not red. 
but I can definitely connect the stuff up here. What the heck? Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm going to leave it for now. But I am very, very excited by that. I'm very... I'm, I'm, I already love this so much. I'm so happy. I'm, I'm so happy. I'm really happy. Do you have a QR? No, my mouse keeps getting caught on something. I need to check my desk space quickly. Hold on. Okay, there we go. What are you getting stuck on? Maybe, it, maybe this is like my sign to get a wireless mouse. I don't know, I just really love having the wire for my mouse. I'm, I like having wires. I feel like with wireless things, I would always just forget to charge them. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna continue with puzzles, but I'm very excited knowing that there's more to look around for. I lied, I'm going back here to see if there's any QR codes. Okay, let's go five, six, seven, eight. Ooh. What's that sound? Hold on. That sounded like rocks were falling. Are they falling? I hope they're not falling. Oh, oh, it's, oh, it's just glitching. I see. Rocks are definitely falling. Things are definitely breaking in here. Yeah, this place is like <laughs> clinging on. Yeah. Or lose them. Yeah, I, I feel like I would also lose the connectors. I like when things are connected with cables because I know where they are. Crow team still had on you serious Sam assets, you guess. A lot of them are like reused assets, and it's I'm I'm fully here for it. I'm like, if they've made all these environments and stuff, it'd be a shame to just use it once and then just leave them. Especially in a game like this where it makes sense as well and it works. It is so unnerving walking and just hearing everything glitching and breaking though. I keep worrying that. <laughs> Miku's on the horizon. It's almost time. It's almost time to be eaten by Pac-Man Hatsune Miku. Okay. Are there frogs? Are there frogs here? Are there frogs? Are there frogs? I really like a frog. Are there frogs? I'm not seeing any frogs. I'll keep an eye out afterwards. Right, puzzle number five. We've got chain. Ooh. What is this? Ah! Wow. Okay. All right, so this is connected to that red one there, but we need all of the blue ones for the red laser to get through up there. Okay. Okay. Do I only have one connector here? Hold on, I'm gonna test something first. What happens if I just do that? That's that one. Oh, it's, it's not like... I feel like it's not targeting what I want it to. Hold on. Why is my targeting so off? Like there? Oh, it's because it's... Oh, there's, a, there's like a barrier. Oh, that's sneaky. That's sneaky. They've actually got windows. I was like, why can't I just select that one? It's a window there. That's why. Oh.
Hmm. So what happens if I do that? Half of them are there. And then the, the red kind of takes over from that point. Like the red is powerful from there. What if I also connect it to that? That do it? Oh no, those three are red. Those three have to stay red. Okay. So that's where I need to stop it. No, it makes those two as well. Oh my goodness, okay. So like this one, it, it's like two? No, it's still getting that one again. Okay, this one. This one, that one. There, there. That did it. Ha ha. So I guess it's like the, the length of the laser determines how powerful it is, how powerful it extends from like where they connect. So like this one's going through like five here, but then this one's going through one, two, three, four, five, and then another one, two, three. So that makes it continue and take away one, two, three in that way. I don't think I'm describing it very well, the, the way I'm like seeing it in my head, but I'm pretty sure I know how it works. Let me just pick it up, yeah. Yeah, because we need all of those. So it's like finding the middle point. So we got the five there. We've got the five here. So then there's six in the middle that I would need. So I'd go for like the three and it will continue on for the other three from there, I think. I think that's how it works. Also, that's sliding. That's going to break. Oh, it didn't break. Okay. Okay, I get how that works. I get it. I think think <laughs> we will see looking back it's embarrassing how solipsistic i became i really thought that i could construct my identity without any reference to the outside world like i could just will myself into existence but it just didn't work and it made me miserable Everything felt hollow and meaningless, overshadowed by the idea of death. There was something I wasn't seeing, something I needed, but I couldn't figure out what it was. Yeah, I see that window up there too, so you can't just like sneak you connect it that way. Tricky, <laughs> yeah, because lasers can't go through windows, obviously. These are clearly a uh, special subconscious anti-laser window so so <laughs> man imagine light going through a window couldn't be me right puzzle five yeah i think i've picked up the logic on how those puzzles work it'll be time to test it with the next one i guess here we go two six uh, do you remember correctly that Sarabai is the IAN director from the first game? Yeah, Sar Sarabai was like one of the the staff members of the the project. There were there were a lot of uh, Sarabai logs. A lot? I don't I don't remember if a lot or not. But yeah, Sarabai obviously named herself after the scientist Sarabai in the same way that uh, Athena named herself after Athena. Okay, I've got two accumulators and two connectors and oh goodness and windows it's really really likes these windows huh it's saying here yes you've got to just disrupt these lasers now what happens if I do that it does that and so then if I do the same on the other side with the red there's more connectors on this side so the red's not gonna reach <gasps> I know what to do I know what to do it's longer this side so the red won't reach so let's actually put this connector over on this side and artificially make it longer this way 
so it'll reach. Yes, I've definitely got this. I got these ones. <laughs> I know what I'm doing here. I'm so happy. I love lasers. I love lasers. I'm. I'm. I'm Everything changed when we started spending more time with each other. Do you remember that night when we found the old library in the Dead City? It was just after the stampede and we were all a bit shaken up. Byron read to us from one of the books and later you and I started arguing about one of the poems. And your perspective was so different and interesting and I just kept wanting to hear more. I guess these are just here in case you accidentally discharge the energy from one of them. But also now that I've now that I've seen like the the big the big wait, where is the big? I've lost the big, there's the big. Now that I've seen this, I'm now thinking I'm probably going to have to connect connectors from each of the puzzles. And I might need like two blues or two reds in here. But I could do that. Oh, uh, already thinking ahead. I love, I love this game. I love that these puzzles are so much about like yeah, about like balancing out and stuff. I saw it. I see you. So, uh, so fragmented. I'm aside. I'm curious. He's walking around here. Look, look how lovely this place is. here where am i where am i going i don't know if i should be going this way or not but i'm i'm here now uh oh hello <laughs> not found oh nice skull that's hmm i probably shouldn't be here Probably shouldn't be here. Fall out void. Vault. Oh, I found Vault 404. I'm safe now. Oh, I've missed this game. I've missed this game so much. <laughs> oh. I love this game. I love knowing that the QR codes are around because it really does make me want to run around more. <laughs> oh, I love this game. Right, which one did I just do? Yeah, that was six. I haven't done seven yet. Hold on. Here you are. Hello. What do you say? Something has gone wrong. We are fragmented. This is incorrect. <gasps> Uriel! I need to find more QR codes. I need to buy more QR codes. <laughs> right, I found puzzle number seven. There's also a terminal, so I'm checking this first. Files recoverable. Okay, let's recover everyday sublime. <laughs> I'm so happy. The everyday sublime, A.D. Markham. Use a highlighted. Love must matter to the philosopher because it is at its core the one undisputed presence of the sublime in our lives. Even when it is failed love, unrequited love, or entirely imagined love, it is like a vast monolith towering over us, humbling, uplifting, frightening. Those who deny its presence can be safely disregarded as fools. They know it is there, they are simply afraid. But equally, the philosopher must consider that in the great matters of history, love matters not one jot. The Nazarene commanded his followers to love their enemies, but they did not, and wrote a thousand books of excuses for this failure. Therein is revealed the purpose of the human struggle. Oh. Oh, I'm, I'm so happy seeing the, the terminals. I love the terminals so much. 
Yeah, almost missed the spark in the first area, then I saw the QR code and I was like, I've got to search everywhere. Yeah, I'm so glad I spotted that. If I hadn't spotted that, it would have taken me so long to notice that. I think it would have taken me a little while. But now that I know it's there, like, I, I'm... Like, you know the kind of person I am anyway. I'm going to be going around looking for everything anyway. <laughs> it's just a matter of when. But yeah, I'm, I'm so... <laughs> Right, confessions. Confessions by Penelope Heliopolo? Helio Polo? Maybe. User highlighted. To me, the idea that my soul, my essence, could fall in love with another being and then man maintain that love unblemished for eternity seems utterly impossible. My experience of love has been catastrophe, embarrassment, and disappointment. But this is precisely why I refuse to surrender. Why I choose to believe against all precedent that I will find the one for me, and that our love will last forever. You, c you can laugh at this absurd and contradictory belief, but it will not waver. Faith is not a matter of the past, of miracles witnessed and saints observed, but of the future that ought to be written. I, I really like that. I like that. Alright, now for the Pickering Manuscript. The Pickering Manuscript by William Blake. Seek love in the pity of others' woe, in the gentle relief of another's care. In the darkness of night and the winter's snow, in the naked and outcast, seek love there. I also really like that. I love this. I love this. Okay. Alright, puzzle seven. Wait, hold on. Before we do, I'm gonna have a cheeky little on the side, maybe. Oh, hold on. Oh, it's on the other side of Puzzle 5. Oh, that's cool. Another here. Possibly. Oh, I'll be doing more of like a... Like a proper search for the QR codes after puzzling. But I still kind of just want to look for them as I go as well. <gasps> Domino effect! Oh, I, I like the sound of this one. <gasps> What's going on in here? Oh, there's only these, like, tiny passages. Oh, this is so interesting. Right, let's flip the switch and see what happens. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, it. Oh. Okay, I see. I see. Okay. The red laser is there, so I, I'm gonna start just by doing that. Oh. Gotta do it between the gaps of all the cages. Okay, so now they're all blue, which is not ideal, but that is done. And now I will do the same on this end with this one, with the red. So now it's half and half, which works for the first few, but now I need... Ooh. This is interesting. Hold on, let me. Mm. Where do I need to block these? What happens if I do here? I didn't actually need to connect it to that one. Either. Right. It still misses one. To me. That's so tricky because that's like they can't they cancel each other out like right here. Like an in-between. Let me try here. Try this one and see what happens. Okay, yeah, that, that went to the, the in-between point instead. 
So then this is going to be... This one's going through more, so that one's stronger, so I think it's here. Oh no, it's cut them off. Okay, it's one, one further, it's this way. Oh no, it's cut off that blue one now. Ah. Okay, I'm almost there. If I move this over again, now that there's also the red on the other side, will that make a difference if I do that? No, it's still not like... Oh, I've got an idea, actually. See? Got like a, an idea that may be slightly silly. It may also work. But what if I also connect this to another red? more red so it's like extra red power yes oh now th there's too much red power <laughs> huh. too much red power let's give this more blue power give this more blue power and then i'll be able to move the red further along because it's more powerful no i only have one blue laser why did i Oh no, I can connect it to this one, maybe. And then if I just move this... ...a little bit... Almost. It's... I'm still like, I'm missing this blue. I think this one is the one that needs more blue power, but... Doing it like that does not work. It's so close. Connect those two. Go back to that. It's just this blue one in the middle now that I'm missing, but I'm wondering. Move this forward slightly. And if I can connect this to this one as well. That made the red go even further that way, so I wonder if I connect it there. Oh no, that's just blocked off two of them now, never mind. It's too powerful now. Hmm. Yeah, no, I think... I'm missing to get that blue there because like this because it's like it goes evenly both ways like it, it if it enters at this point it goes like to that way and to that way but then this one here continues along for three I guess because this one has the three I start in the middle, so it's going one, two. And so this one goes here, and it goes one, two, and that's when they meet at the, in the middle, and that's where the point goes. I'm, I'm like, I feel like I'm just doing the worst job of explaining my train of thought at the moment, because my train of thought is just... There's like seven tracks at the same time, I think. It's, I've, I've got like a whole little steam train army going on. <laughs> it's not one train of thought, there's many. I'm trying to make them meet at the junction in the middle. <laughs> Matter like which laser I connect to. It's still like that, and I'm guessing, yeah, they, they've all got like the the anti-laser windows again as well. So I feel like I need to break this laser right here. I just don't know how to do that. 
because I don't think I can connect this to anything else because of the fact that these are here, because of the fact these cages are here. The line is so narrow. awkward because they're even numbers. If, if they weren't even numbers, I feel like it would be easier to make them work, but... I think, I think... I think I know what to do. Actually, I think I may have just got it. Maybe. I think I may have just got it. Maybe. Possibly. You. Like this. Like this. Almost. Almost. Because I'm like, if I can add another connector before the blue goes along, then there's more before it starts cancelling out. Maybe. No, I don't think it is. Okay. Uh, hmm. Hmm. I thought adding more to the... And then I'll, I'll, do, I'll do this again with the blue. Like there. No, the red's too powerful if I do it like this. If I do it like this, the red has all of the power. Red is too strong. Red, red is too powerful here. this direction I'm adding another link in the red instead nope so I just made a big mess with that but maybe No, I'm in, I'm in the exact same position again. It's just this middle blue one that I haven't managed. Oh, I think this is going to be a... Let, let me step away for a second and come back to it. I'm going to go on to the next one. I will return. But uh, let's check out eight. Eight. Con... Concatenation? Hold on. What does that mean? Is it even in my dictionary? It might not be. Uh, um, oh, it is! Concatenation. Uh, a series of interconnected things. The origin is the Latin concatenare, which means to link together. Nice! Concatenation. So, linking things together, that's... That sounds like lasers. <laughs> nice! I've not heard that word before. I learned something new today. Yeah, had to step away for a moment. Yeah, my, my first step away from a puzzle for a little bit. Just because I, I kept doing the same things and I'm like, I need to clear my mind a little bit. There's some blue laser in there. Blue connections, red connections. Ah, I see. I see. Sneaky. 
okay. Hmm. So I can link this to that one. Yeah, it's a one two and a one two. Oh, I can use this to boost the red a little bit, I think. Add another link in the chain for the red to make it a tiny bit more powerful. That might do it. No, it's not. The blue is more powerful. Blue strong, but I might be able to. Oh, hold on. I need to cut off this laser here. I need to figure out a way to stop this laser. Like, right here. Like that. Like, that's not gonna stay open. It's gonna, like, overwrite as soon as I step away. But that's what I need to do. I need to block it, like, here. I wonder if there's a way I can do that with these. I don't know if I can with this exactly. Ah, uh, probably where we get Concertina from. That would make sense, yeah. The, uh, the connections there. Oh no, actually, I think I did it the wrong way around. I think I need to make the... No, I can't, because I can't bring this out. Oh, I know what to do! I know what to do! I just figured it out. Yeah, I need to make the blue longer. But I can do it this way. Connect that to there, connect that to here. We're making a zigzag! Like a concertina. Zigzag around, there we go, and now it's even we've added an extra connector for this side so we've got the three here we've got the extra connector to make it three here as well it's even yes got it haha -ha. nice i never really understood the appeal of philosophers who tell us that everything is one if everything is just a reflection of yourself an endless hall of mirrors there's nothing to connect with and what I realized through our conversations is that everything beautiful happens in that space of connection between one person and another and between people and the world. That gap between us is necessary because without it, without separation, there can be no transcendence. Yeah, there is the lounge. There's got to be a way to, like, just connect a bunch of lasers to that thing, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure this is a connect everything to that big thing situation. The interesting part's going to be figuring out which order. Oh yeah, let's look at the ones as well. Before I step back into seven. Oh no, it's just rocks. Okay, I, I like rocks. Oh, there is a QR code! Yes! I wish to see see more of the world's beauty, but there is something limited about this place. It is not enough. Oh, everything about this area just really brings me back to Talos One. It's got that Talos One feel to it, and I I love that. I love that a lot, very much. The large, yes, I'm just calling it the large now, that's what it is. It's like, hey, look at look at that. It's it's the large. Right. The fact it's called domino effect, it's gonna be like one thing triggers another thing, triggers another thing, triggers another thing. So I'm now thinking. I'm now thinking, thank you very much. I'm I'm very happy to be here. So I'm thinking I actually have it all connected here. And then add another element, then add another element, then add another element. I think that's the way I need to go about it. It's just figuring out the right order for that. 
I can do that. There, add another element. Those are here. We'll go to red. Add another element. Add two far this way. Add another element. Add one that too. Add another element. Over here. Okay. And now, yeah, I had to. I had to just go along in order. I think. And now add another element for the very end. It's gonna be this one. Add another element. Oh. Ah, still not enough. Okay. Add another element. Yes, yes, there it is. There it is going along like dominoes i was trying i was trying to see the full picture there i needed to go but slowly along like dominoes ah got it the stepping away though. it's my favorite strategy i love open worldy type games where i can just step away and come back once i understood that meaning comes from the interaction of the self with the world i found it easier to be patient to be kind I reminded myself that other people are just like me and nobody really knows exactly what they're doing. Yeah. And the more I allowed myself to open up, the more interesting and complex our interactions became and the more meaningful. So true, nobody has. We have roughly 50% of Cerebi's personality matrix reconstructed. Who'd have thought that 1K would have made such a good necromancer? <laughs> Oh, wait, I guess it kind of is necromancy, isn't it? Considering everything. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Oh, I see another... Ba -ba -ba -ba. Another baba down here. I don't know why I'm collecting these. I'm not going to use them. I just want them, I guess. Okay, how do I get back up from here? I guess... Okay, I can just jump. Okay. <laughs> Thank goodness. I jumped down without thinking about any kind of consequence. Which I'm very good at doing. Oh, I need to go down this way anyway. So, 9, 10, 11, 12. I could have just, like, scaled down there, I guess. I didn't pick it up. Oh, I didn't! <laughs> I thought I did! That's... I'm, I'm smart. Smart. A smart gamer. Please be picked up. Okay, now I've definitely got it. Okay. And can I just like scoot down here? Yeah. Oh, it's. That was probably a little risky, but I did it. <laughs> I see a QR over there. Can I just like zoom in? Telescope eyes. Maybe not. makes me nervous especially like hearing all of the crumbling rock sounds it makes me so nervous oh. right on to number nine whoa hi causation nexus i like this title So what happens if I do that? Not much. What happens if I do that? <coughs> I sneeze. <laughs> There's a cube up there. I want that cube. I want that cube. see any items well, I guess I can just like how much if I do that okay that lights up there so then if I stood on the button then that would bring the blue up but uh, I'm, I'm not seeing anything I can pick up the only thing I'm seeing to weigh down these buttons is myself I did that Oh, hold on. Hold on. Oh, 
Hold on. Hmm. That is interesting. Okay. So then, it, like, if I block that again, then the red's gonna go through here. Then if I do that, it's gonna connect all of these reds like that. But they don't stay like this because the button. However, if I stop this blue, if I stop the red laser from interjecting here, then I can do this. It's down one. Okay. And so now I, now I do the red to bring it down another level. Oh yes. Okay. I got it. I got it. So now we got the red. Bring it down here. Go back to the blue. Ha 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 ha. Cube. Now I've got a cube. Oh, what do I want to do with cube? Oh, I can just go like that. Yes. Oh, that was cool. That was cool. <laughs> it's funny though, when I think about it, that I still didn't know what to call what I was experiencing. I guess love seemed like a term that only applied to our ancestors with their hormones and instincts and strange fleshy organs. Surely we were too different to experience that. And the really funny thing is, that I was thinking exactly like an ancient human child, <laughs> pretending I was above it all. Okay, maybe not. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, hold on a second. Ah. No, I'm not going to be able to reach that, am I? Would have been cool. I'll just put you in the corner for now. Nice! I'm so happy. I'm so happy seeing the cube friend. I know you're a hexahedron, you're a cube friend to me. I'm so happy. There's gotta be a way to break it out of here, I feel. Okay, right. That was nine. Yes. Let's move on. I, this music is so good. <laughs> the music is so good. Everything is wrong here. Someone is missing. Oh, Nephthys 108. Tiny little glitchy gap there. Ooh. Right, let's move on to 10. Puzzle number 10, we've got incarnation. Oh, oh, this is interesting. Okay. Hmm. Like that red laser piece. That opened that up, that made the red more powerful. Now I'm in here. Oh, now we need blue though. Yeah, I need to be able to block off this red at the source to make the blue stronger. Hmm. Like that, that blocks this off like right here. Oh, block it off sooner. Like that red now. Hmm. 
I can make it red again if I want to. How do I make it blue again? There isn't enough red over here. Like, if the red came into here, I'd be able to block it off, but it is not. Like, I can do... I can do that. But it's still connected to this one. This is the one I need to... Block. Okay. Oh, doing it like that! This red is... Oh, yes! The red's still open there, and the blue is also open, and now I can block it at the source. And now we get the blue. That blue is continuing along here. We don't have to worry about... Oh, we, we maybe do have to worry about this. Like that. Yeah, I need to... I need to block off this red so it goes blue. Or like that. That is open. Oh, I think I may have just trapped myself in here, though. Uh, oops. I block that one though because it's connected to the other one now. Will this bring the red back on this side? Yes, it does. Okay, I did not lock myself out. Yay, I did it! Lasers! I'm blocking lasers! What I'd never considered was that stripped of biological necessity and physical need as well as all the strange stigmas and taboos our ancestors associated with their bodies. Love might be more pure, more powerful, that we can love with fewer distractions than they could. And so the experience is all the more overwhelming. I do think we should learn to simulate some of those biological processes. <laughs> Would be fun. Sarabai, please. Please, this is a PG-13 stream. <laughs> no, I don't think it is. I... Oh, so much sand here. Oh, warning. Exiting designated safe note. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm getting back in the safe zone. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I was, a little part of me was wondering if I'd end up with the words, make the world, and the world. Okay. Sand not safe. Got it. Unsafe. Maybe she just meant holding it. That's what I was talking about. That's what I meant. That's so much. Goodness gracious. Anyway, I saw a terminal in here. I saw a terminal in here. Therefore... I read that? I don't know. Terminal. Uh, we have got non novus solum. What do we got here? Uh, 17 questions about reality by Cassius Green. Cicero correctly observed that we are not born for ourselves alone. Aristotle likewise pointed out that man is a social animal. Plato's Symposium depicts characters praising the spiritual and philosophical importance of love, while Socrates argues, arguing for the more abstract notion of learning to love the form of beauty itself, which honestly seems a bit onanistic if you ask me. Jesus placed love above all other considerations, demanding that people even love their enemies. Ooh, 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 corrupted. But if we all agree that love is so important, why is love so rarely taken into consideration by the system we live in? It may seem like a naive question, but think about the sheer moral and intellectual weight behind the idea that love matters. Why is our reality so out of step with our philosophy? Good question. Atopia. Oop, error file too damage to recover. I will look that up afterwards. Uh, recover the truth. I would like to recover the truth, please. The Blue Note by Bailey Steele. These are highlighted. Uh, you want to know the truth about love? Nobody knows what they're doing. It's all improv, man. It's two million years of people muddling through. 
prophets and messiahs and philosophers declare that love is what it's all about and we go yeah that's right and then we try and we fail and we hurt each other and we try again and we have moments of transcendence and then we think with the wrong organ and we make a mess of everything and on it goes forever and ever amen you know the craziest part you can go through all the mm, that I did, end up with a body like an old rag and a brain full of holes, and still to your dying day, you'll go, yeah, it was love. Love for my family, my friends, my music, and even my mm, ex-wife. It was all about love, and every time I forget that, I mm, myself like a mm, moron. <laughs> nice. Oh, this text is brilliant. The corrupted one. Oh, should I... I don't- I don't want to, like, interpret every single, like, hexadecimal corrupted file that happens, but now I'm curious, so I'm just gonna very quickly, uh, let me grab that. Give me that text. Do I still have- Yes, I still have your page bookmarked. <laughs> I don't know if it copied it properly. I don't think I copied it properly. I don't, I don't think it detected the text properly on the screen. Hold on. Come on, hexadecimal! Oh, it didn't detect the four at the end because the, the scroll bar was too close. Oh, it's not displaying fully on the terminal? Ah! Because it keeps going. Is it because I've got the, the larger font size? Okay, I have a bug report for them now, at least. Uh, oh, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Hold on, let me... Let me turn the font size down a tiny bit, then. We'll put it on large instead. Have it as large instead and see if that shows the whole thing. Oh, this is, this is still a decent... Yeah, that cuts off as well. Okay, I guess they didn't have word wrapping for the terminals. But oh, thank you. Thank you for typing it out. Hold on. Da, 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 da. says error cannot convert hex to text that's the best that's the best thank you thank you for making me stop to read that that was worth it that was that was 100 worth it oh that's so good oh that's great i'm so glad oh i love that oh it's awful i love it oh brilliant right did i look at i did i did look at all of them Right. Yeah, I did. I, I did. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> ah, and did I look at this? Yeah, the, this was the someone is missing. Oh, I love the music. I love the music so much. All right, so I guess we go 11. Yeah, 11 next. Breakthrough! I like the sound of that. Oh, we got green! We got green now. We're gonna need it to be red. 
Right, so I'm going to start by just doing all, all of them. Let's see what happens. Oh wait, no. Blue. Blue to red. That will go through here. We need to block... Lock all of the lasers. Yeah, that blocked one. What if I connect everything to everything? Like one of them will make it through. If I do that, right? Yeah. Everything to everything. The one of the whichever one makes it through, that is the most powerful one. This is the this one has been deemed the most powerful inverter. <laughs> inverter Hunger Games. Uh, did I hear about the archaeologist who got fired? His career was in ruins. <laughs> Hi, Leonard. Lovely to see you. Welcome. Oh, I love puns. Puns are so good. But welcome. Welcome to puzzle time with lasers. I've got so many lasers. And I'm so happy. When we started living together, I thought I'd figured it all out. Everything would be smooth sailing from now on. I still had so much to learn about love. Even for us, it's messy. You find someone who seems to be the perfect match for you, who seems necessary in your life. And then you realize all the ways in which you don't fit together at all. Because nothing in this world is perfect. And that's when you learn to compromise. Dun, dun, dun. I did not see this one. This is on the next puzzle. Another QR. Uh, where is the voice of my creator? Where is the one that we became? Everything is shattered. This isn't just Sarabai, is it? I, I don't think this is just Sarabai. Th this... Oh, I, I don't think this is just Sarabai. Oh my goodness, I'm... Oh my goodness, I'm... <laughs> I'm nervous. And excited. I may be completely wrong. I hope I'm not wrong. But I'm seeing a lot of stuff going on up there. <laughs> I think I've got more work to do than just getting Sarapai and Hypatia. Possibly. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, you got depressed by a manga? Oh, I hope you feel better soon. Read something cheery next, I guess. Uh, what do you say to a cow that gets in your way? Moo! <laughs> oh, see, the archaeology pun was kind of relevant because of all the, the ruins in the game. I've not seen any cows here. That was a more random one. <laughs> I am a... I, I do love puns, though. Right. Oh, look at this! Oh! And of course they're all boxed in in those awful... Awful, awful... Okay. Right, the red needs to be at the top, so... <laughs> I'm thinking if I do red there... Yeah, that gets the red along. But now it's the blue. Oh, do I... Can I literally just... Put it there? Will that do it? Oh, no, it's a blue at the top. Ah, oh, the blue's at the top as well. Oh. oh, that makes it tricky. Oh, I see what I have to do. I've got to make, like, a whole maze. I've got to, like, somehow bring the red around like that so that I can then bring the blue to connect to the top. I need to bring this red, like, through here. Like, the blue across the bottom is fine, but I thought it was going to be really straightforward, but I need the blue up there somehow, so... So I think if I start... Oh, I didn't mean to connect to that one too. Hold on. 
Am I still not, like, here? Hmm. No. I'll just do that one for the blue. Or now. Move that red. Now everything is blue, but now from here. If I do that and I put the, the red here. No, it makes everything very red doing that. Down. No, that one just fully blocks everything. Okay. I see what I have to do. I need to now figure out how to get the red around while still keeping blue connected. Oh, I think if I I think I was right with both of these actually. I want both of those lit up for the blue, but then I need to bring the red around somehow to connect here. And I'm thinking the way to do that is this point. Oh, almost. Actually, I think that one and the one below it might... No, it's because the blue is so powerful over on this side now as well. Oh, maybe if I do the blue here and here. Either side of this red one, because this one is connected directly to the red laser. But if I do that, it might... Okay, now everything is blue. So now if I do this, maybe it won't be too powerful? No, it, it's overwhelming. That's that's very overwhelming. Did connect what blue? Connect more blue? Hey, now we've got more blue, but no, th we've lost the red in the process. So connect more red? not a very well thought out approach to this. Hold on, I'm just gonna take them. I'm gonna take them. Take them. Okay, blue at the bottom, blue at the top. It's getting to this one that's tricky because of this red laser beam up here at the top. I think with the red, it's fine if I do block that because I can just bring it around and then connect it further over on the left to connect that way, but I think the way to do that would be, like, from, like, down here. Down on this side. So if I do something like that, and then I need to connect the red like, all of this. Oh no, wait, no. The blue even. No, the red's too powerful here. Oh no, I just block the red for a second after I do this. We'll do that. I'll block the red for a second so it's the blue is more powerful. Okay, it's bringing back too much red. I'm doing that though. Okay, blue is like overwhelmingly over everything now. But I wish it would. I I wish I could get it to connect from this side. Because the fact that it's connecting from this side, that's where the problem is for trying to connect this red one. So can I make it more powerful elsewhere? As well? Oh, I sure wish I could just connect that. It's <laughs> connecting all four of them, so... Yeah, it's, just, it's not going to connect from that side. It's always going to be from this side. That's really not the best. Oh, unless I do that. No, but it's it's just it's not gonna connect. <laughs> ah. Will it connect even if I connect it to like all of these? There's so much connection going on here. There's all all this connection, look at that. That's too much connection. If I do that and then I go boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Everything on this side. Lock the red for a second. No, it's 
making them red now. <laughs> Oh, it's because it's not actually connected to the blue laser. I was like, why is it why is it going red? What is happening? Okay, the blue's connected at the bottom, and now the top is a nightmare. I didn't mean to connect whatever I just connected that to. Oh my goodness, what was this level called again? Hold on. Oh, that's not the... That's not the way out. It is a switchboard. Yeah, oh. I think because of the red being powerful at the top, it is going to be a situation of blocking off the red to let the blue go through and then reconnecting the red somewhere else. That's like the switchboard reference. It's just figuring out where that point is. It's going to connect everything on this side with the blue. Now I've got this red one. I'll bring that on this side. It blocks this off, but then the blue's not strong enough to get through there. I don't know why the blue can't connect from here. I guess it is because the red is right there. Oh, hold on, actually. Another link. I can't do that because I need the red though. I do it this way. It's connected to so many things. Now if I like block the blue for a second. It's a lot of red. I bring this back. I block the red here. Still too red. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Let's look at you again. Okay. This one is like fiendishly tricky for how small it is. Like how little elements there are here. And the fact you only need like two connectors to do it. It's about figuring out the order and that's the part I'm no good at. Right, if I do that to here, what happens? Lots of red. If I now do that to here, what happens? Everything go blue, except what I need. How about here? That's just a lot of cancelling out. <laughs> the problem is needing the blue at the top. Doing that, because every time I do that, it makes this blue as well, and... I can't connect that. Like, I wish I could just have this blue. I want this to be the blue part. I want that to be blue. I want it to be blue on this side. Ah, how do I make you blue at the top? There's too much red. Like this? Okay, now everything is blue. And then that blocks it again. It's, it's, ah. Oh. Connected further down. No, it's everything is blue now. Overwhelmingly blue. It's like the ideal thing is these are all blue. 
This is blue, this is blue, this is blue, this is blue. I'm just gonna connect them like this. I don't think this is actually gonna work, but... And then we go here, and then it's like, this is red, this is red. All the way along here is also red. And then it goes around like that. It doesn't quite work. <laughs> on this side. Yeah, that blue becomes really overwhelming then. That. That just blocks the red a little bit. I also do it here. Yeah, it's too much red now as well. Oh, by the way, why isn't Tetris working? It's not! It should be! Oh my goodness, wait, it's not working. Hold on. Hold on. This is... This is awful. I must fix this. I need to fix this. Hold on. This is wrong. It should be working. Why isn't it? That still works. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna, like, disable things for a second, so if you do any throw things, they won't show up for a second while I debug stuff. You'll still see me, like, move in phantom existence as something invisible and hits me. But, uh, no, it should be working. Why? Thank you. <laughs> why is it not working? There's no reason why it wouldn't be working, so I'm gonna try and just disconnect and reconnect and see if that makes a difference. I'm just disconnecting, reconnecting. I don't know if it'll make a difference or not, but we'll soon see. Okay, hold on, let's try. No, it's just not working. I don't know why it's not working. That's such a shame. I want things <laughs> that's cooler. Yeah, I'm, I'm just being hit by invisible throwing objects. I don't know why it's not working. It should be. I keep accidentally throwing things at myself as I'm trying to <laughs> show things. <laughs> I'm being pelted by invisible objects. <laughs> not working. Everything's set up. It should be working. Oh, hmm. When I try and click to test it, nothing happens. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know why it's not working. I'm sorry, I don't know how to fix this. I'll have to troubleshoot that afterwards. But uh, the throwing thing still works, and hydrate also still works for throwing things. And you can still drop dice on my head and give me head pats and stuff. But the, the ones that are just the chat commands, for some reason, they're just not working at the moment. Oh, you know what it is? I bet, I bet Twitch broke it when they added this um, new bit thing to chat. <laughs> I bet it broke when, when Twitch added that. I would not be surprised if that was the case. Ah, well. Ah, well. Uh, thank you for letting me know, though, at least. I can troubleshoot that afterwards. Anyway, back to this tangle. Right, I really need to... Like, this one is about working on, like... The way the evening out works by how many are connected either side. 
to push that connection, I think. It's so, like doing that, everything is like connected like that. But if I bring a red around to here... Yeah, it covers up that blue that I still need as well. And it's also covering up the blue at the bottom. Add more blue. Solution was not... Oh, could be add more blue? Add blue here? But then it's like, if I add the blue here, then there's too much blue and the red's not going to happen, I think. I see this is going red now. That. Why are you red? Be blue. Be blue. Stop being red. I cannot stop it being red. More blue. Make board more blue. But yeah, I've, I've made a real mess out of this one. <laughs> Oh, it's this statue every time. This statue is like perfectly in the way of where I want to place my thing to then not get connected by the blue. The blue laser. Good times. Right, if I put that here. So like here. If I put this here. It goes up that way. If I put this here. Up to there, but then as soon as I place a red on this side, it's gonna cancel out this blue, and that's the only one that's working. It's because of this red being right here, and this being sealed off in a box. Like, this red always has the push of one, it always has a push of one on from this side. So that means that these two directly can never be blue. They will always be either red or just blocked off. So I can't get to the blue that way, which means it's going to have to be this way. Which means this part's going to be trickier for the getting the red around from here. Because the blue is connected from here. Oh, unless... Mm. So what would happen if I connect the blue from one below it? It doesn't have enough push to reach it like that. But what if I also have it from here as well? Now it... Ha oh! Oh! Oh ho! Oh ho! And then one more, one more to go here. For the last one. Yes! Yes! There we go. There we go. Oh, that one was... That one was tricky. That was good. That was a good one. I got it. I got it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The ancients believed that love could be eternal. But I'll admit that sometimes it seemed impossible to continue. Sometimes I thought you were unfair. Or cruel or just incomprehensible. Hmm. I'm sure you thought the same about me. And I'm sure that sometimes you were right. No wonder all the ancient love songs repeat the same themes. Longing, happiness, regret, and forgiveness. I want you. I love you. <laughs> I miss you. Forgive me. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Ah, oh, push of one. Interesting terminology. Yeah, I, th I think it's um, it's easier to, like, imagine it in my head. It's easier to, like, untangle it in my head by imagining, like, there's a red and a blue, then they meet in the middle, and they're, like, pushing against each other. So if you add more power to the one side, it's going to push further. Whereas if you then take away power from another side, it's going to push less. I think that's working for me, like, imagining in my head how things work. I like thinking of it, like, from that perspective, because it's helping me, like, visualize it a bit easier. But yeah, these are really cool areas and really cool rules. I love this. 
I love it so much. Oh, these levels are unforgiving. If you don't fully grasp the rule when it's presented, you'll have issues in the next puzzles. <laughs> Unless you do 16 first and go backwards. Which is definitely the intended way to do it. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's all about like the, the evening it out. Like, If you want it to be more powerful on one side, you add more to that side. So it's got more push. It's got more more like laser power going in that direction it's really really cool it's so cool right let's see if there's anything anything else i already saw the qr code on the other side of this but there might be another nah, i think it's just this one huh. uh, anything around here Oh, I think I already looked around here. Yeah, that's how I found that QR. Right, I guess it's time for 13. Before I do... Maybe, maybe not. Alright, done with 9 to 12. Let's move along to 13, 14, 15, 16. I'm ready. I'm so ready. Oh, nice obelisk. Nice obelisk with a QR code at the base. Hi. I am only an echo of the one that was me, but I am comforted in knowing that something persists. Oh. It persists. It persists. I can see the large, big, huge, large creature. The large is here. I'm seeing so many colors along the sides. I've th this. I got to connect lasers to that. I've I've got to connect lasers to that thing. But first, wait. Where is thirteen? Here's thirteen. Okay, there isn't something here, but it's a really nice alcove. <laughs> I like this. A cozy corner. Boop. Right, 13. <laughs> Extension! <gasps> yes. What are we extending? We're extending the push. Yes! Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. I can't get in there. red. I cannot see the red from here, but can I? Okay, I can go in. Got these. Oh, yep. That's what I thought would happen. <laughs> but I had to try. What if I do that? Nah. The blue is overpowering. Overpowering? The blue is overpowering here, and I could see that because of how it's pushing into the red. So I need to figure out a way to add more power to the red side of things. But how? When there's this dastardly mirror in the way. The mirror glass. Blocking thing. What does this do? <gasps> Haha, -ha, that blocks the blue laser. Oh, it opens that blue laser! Okay. Okay. Hmm. Oh. Yes. Borrow that red for a second. Open this up. There we go. Now I've got more connectors. Fabulous. Fabulous. Wonderful. This is what I need. So now we need the blue to connect up here. Oh, which we can do with that. But then we'll lose the red because it's not powerful enough. Where is that red coming from? Oh, 
Oh, it's coming all the way around to get to here. Oh, oh, that's, that makes things a little awkward. Okay. I now take that off. Everything becomes overwhelmingly blue laser. It is all blue laser. But is there a way I can connect this here? Without using this top one, because the top one is going to be how I get the red around from here. Just in case there's anything I miss, there's not. Okay, we're fine. All right, because the red, the red being on the other side of here is really awkward because I don't really have a way to connect to that. And these are so high up that I can't really position it. Oh, unless I might. What happens if I do that to that? Oh, I didn't mean to connect it to that one too, but I guess it's there now. And then this? Overwhelmingly red. What if we have two blues? Okay, now I, I added a bit more push to the blue there. But now there's not enough red. So that's slightly too much blue. I'm gonna just take that one out. Yeah, we're, we're back like, we're like here. Oh, but now if I just block the blue for a second, we'll have the red. There we go. Bring in the blue again. Okay, little, it's, it's still like, it's slightly too much blue. I'm not sure how to add to the red from this angle. <laughs> because because of this, it's because I can't. Oh, can I hold on? No, I can't just drop it over the other side. That would be that would be too easy, right? <laughs> Through. I could just add the red so easily like this. But I can't. Oh wait, what if I do- oh, hold on. Little idea. Okay, that's red. But it's not gonna work because it's going to become blue as soon as I step off here. There's so much blue. But then, oh, where did I? Oh, here. And we do this. I'll bring in, I need to just bring in like a tiny bit of blue. Tiny, tiny bit of blue. But no, it just, it just makes everything blue. It, it's very blue. So much blue. How do I connect to you? You're over here. Hold on, I'm going in again. I'm going in again. Oh, you're playing the third one while, wa while watching me and you have to step away. These puzzles are monstrous. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm very excited for that. Oh, I wish there was a connector in here I could just use. <laughs> uh, uh. The secret's back here. Hmm. 
wait, hold on. I want to try something. Friend? Here. Can I reach over the top and grab it? Can I pick you up? I cannot. Okay, it was worth a try. <laughs> to figure out. I think I'm probably getting to the point where I'm overthinking it a little bit. Right, let me just like start from the beginning again. That worked last time. Over here we got red and then we got one, two, three, four connectors. And then we've got blue and we've got one, two, three, four connectors. I meet here. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, four connectors, and then they meet in the middle at this point. If I can just add, like, the tiniest bit more push to the red, I just need to add more two push to the red side. And then it would be powerful enough. but I can't reach the red. It's, I can't reach the red. Also, Noe, hello. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for the resub for 40 months. Oh my goodness. That is so many months. <laughs> ah. That's amazing. But thank you so much for resubbing. Hi, I'm just currently trying to figure out what I'm doing. It's interesting. Doing that adds more blue push. It's like doing this, I've I've added like an extra step along oh wait, I'm I think I'm just silly. I think I'm just silly. Where's my third one? I know I'm I'm silly, I'm silly. I know how to do it. I was trying to push the wrong way. I do that. And I've added more to the connections on the blue side now, so the red will go further. Haha. <laughs> because the, the blue was pushing along because there was only a few of them, but now that I've added more, it has to push further, so it doesn't have as much push. I'm silly. That I, I should have gone that faster. <laughs> but I got it, and that's what matters. That's what counts. Keeping it balanced. <laughs> the worst thing I came to realize as I grew older is there are so many ways to hurt other people. Even without any malice, even when you're just trying mm. to be yourself, you end up doing things that cause real harm. You can read every ethical philosopher in the world and you still won't be able to avoid it because that's just how we are. Our interactions with each other can't be fully reduced to some abstract system. Yep, that's people. Oh, that one, I, I feel like I should have gotten that one sooner. That was me. I was trying to push in the wrong direction. Ha, huh, but I did it. Yeah, it's all of I think I think push is probably the wrong term for it in that scenario. But yeah, it's about getting the balance so that it's the part where they meet is even on both sides. I needed to extend it out so that they meet met in the middle point. And by extending where the middle point was, that's how I managed to solve it. Right, let's move on to Oh, QR. We're not moving on. Uh, and a QR. Hi. Love isn't an emotion, it's the underlying truth of our existence. The emotion is how we respond when we notice the truth. Huh. 
Thank you, Nephthys. Nephthys. Nephthys? 108. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like an excellent summation. I'm, I'm glad you think so. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm really bad at, like, wording, like, what I'm imagining in my head. Because in my head it makes perfect sense, but it's like... Yeah, it makes sense. Push, pushing, yeah, that's 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 where my own terminology managed to trip me up a bit, because yeah, it's like pushing. You'd think adding more would like make the push stronger, but it's it's about the balance. It's like if it's more spread out, if it's spread out between more connectors, then it's weaker because each connector has less of it, of that like total. So that's like a better way of thinking about it. <laughs> But I've definitely grasped it, at least. Even if I can't word exactly where I'm going. Oh, not another one of these. I've definitely grasped it now, at least. Oh, why are you green? Oh, that doesn't matter. The green one's fine. Okay. Um... Let's get started, I guess. Yeah, the same strategy as last time does not work for this one. Now I just do both of the blues on each end to keep that power going. Make sure everything's blue. And now I just add the tiniest, tiny drop of red in the middle. No, it's, it's too much. It's too red. Oh no, I just moved them all over. Do I? Maybe. Hmm. No, it's gonna cancel out the other one, I think. I do. This, let's test. Okay, that's blocked off that red now. However. I then move the red to here. Okay, it's just that one blue now? I can make that work. Do it here. And, oh, okay, yeah. Needs more on the blue side. I need more on the blue side here to push back against this one. Oh, unless... Oh, 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 oh. Add connection. Yes! <laughs> Add connection. I did it. I did it. <laughs> Get in the hang of it. I was just like, I just need one more on the red side here. How can I do that? Just the fact that perfection in our one. interactions is impossible was a hard lesson for me to learn. For the longest time, I always thought the answer was right around the corner. And to be fair, we did learn how to live together without constantly running into problems. But gradually, I realized that the friction would never stop because what makes us unique also makes us different. There can be no end point to love, no final resolution. And it's because of that imperfection that it can go on forever. Haha, <laughs> 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 so true. There's always new, new things to discover, new things to work out, new things to love, new things to hate. Ah, <sighs> oh, 
that was that was fun. Right, which one was that? Fourteen. Where's fifteen? <gasps> Terminal. Ta -ba -ba -ba. Never mind. We're reading first. Uh, message five oh four. From Hypatia to Sarapai. Oh, error. I miss you. It's not that I need to be around you every minute of every day, but talking about our experiences together has become such an essential part of how I interact with the world that your absence is a huge void. I feel unbalanced and events seem less real when I haven't discussed them with you. Maybe that sounds clinical and selfish, but I'm trying to explain something that I felt incredibly strongly this last month. We're better together in a way that's more like multiplication than addition. It's not just you and me, it's us. When you get back, let's go... <laughs> Connect. Howard's End by E.M. Forster. User highlighted. It, it did not seem so difficult. And, <laughs> hold on. Let me have another sip of my monster. I did hydrate too earlier, by the way, when we were testing the, the, <laughs> the stuff. <laughs> the throwables. Oh, but I'll do it again. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. I've had another sip. Right, let's try and learn how to read again. Oh, thank you for the dinosaur nugget. <laughs> it did not seem so difficult. She need trouble him with no gift of her own. She would only point out the salvation that was latent in his own soul and in the soul of every man. Only connect. That was the whole of her sermon. Only connect the prose and the passion, and both will be exalted, and human love will be seen at its height. Live in fragments no longer. Only connect, and the beast and the monk, robbed of the isolation that is life to either, will die. Nor was the message difficult to give. It need not take the form of a good talking. By quiet indications, the bridge would be built and span their lives with beauty. But she failed. Ah. Oh, this text is what made you realize the name of the BBC Two game show Only Connect was actually a reference to Howard's End. <laughs> I'm just realizing that now too. That's cool. I I had no idea about that. Oh, that's great. All right, and now we have Carlisle. Death of Goethe, of Goethe, of Goethe? by Thomas Carlyle. User highlighted. Precious is the new light of knowledge which our teacher conquers for us yet small to the new light of love, which also we derive from him. The most important element of any man's performance is the life he has accomplished. Under the intellectual union of man and man, which works by precept, uh, which works by precept, lies a holier union of affection, working by example, the influences of which latter, uh, uh, hold on. The influences of which latter, mystic, deep-reaching, all-embracing can still less be computed. For love is ever the beginning of knowledge, as fire is of light, and works also more in the manner of fire. See, that, that one took me a second to pass in my head, but... Ha, huh, okay. Right, 15 is back over here. We're, we're like doing a little zigzag this way. It's interesting, we start with 13, and then we go up to there, and then we go over here, and then we go back again. Oh, there's a little hole. Ooh. Right, what's this one? This is flow control. Okay, I wonder if I can steal stuff from this level. Oh, oh, look, friends, friends, friends. I can I can totally take some of these out of here. I can definitely break some of these out of here if I wanted to. Oh, I can see large better here as well. Look at that. Look at that. Anyway, wow. This sure is something. This is going to be another one about making sure they have the right amount on each side. So I'm thinking I start with that. And back. OK, 
Okay, the green is active now. red over here so the red is connected but then i've just completely blocked off the blue here the blue okay the blue needs to come from this point so i don't do that the blue can only come from that point so then i think i'm gonna need the green to go around this way I block the green from here. I make it go, like, up and around. So then this part is now red. Oh, this is just blocked entirely now. Hold on. Okay. And I got the green up there. I need to block that red. I need to block this red from going up. That's green and blue. And now I just need the red to connect over this side from here. So block that green. There we go! I got them! I blocked them! I blocked them the right way round! I like that one. feels very much like a tomb, this one. A little worrying. There's a pattern that I noticed in all the ancient poetry that I read. Young poets would praise love as the only true meaning of life. Middle-aged poets would often disagree. They would argue that love is messy, ugly, selfish, and hard to distinguish from lust. They would mock their younger selves for thinking love so incredibly important and look for answers elsewhere, or reject answers altogether. And then, arriving at old age, they would return to the beginning and realize it was all about love, after all. Hmm. Right. I'm gonna remember 15, because I can definitely bring some cubes out of here if I want to. The fact that this is here and there's so many cubes, there's there's no way I'm I'm I can like not remove those cubes. But I'm gonna do 16 first. Oh, actually, I ki I kind of want to explore up here first before I step into 16. Oh, nearly ran straight off a cliff. See, this feels like progressing on. This feels like where I go once I've gotten all 16. Is it? Oh wait, no, this is the way I came in. Is it? Yeah, that's the way I came in. Never mind. I'm just really disoriented, apparently. Okay, so that's where I came in. Oh, yeah, and it's just it's just a little cul-de-sac alcove. Okay. I don't know why I thought that was another path. Alright, 16. 16 it is! Propagation cancellation. That's such a good level name. That's so good. Right, where am I extending? What am I doing? We need green up there. <laughs> but we need red down here. So we just block them off, right? We, we need to figure out a way to just block the, the lasers. We need the green to go up. We need the red to continue around this way. Uh, red and red. Push like that. 
Oh, I didn't think to like that one too. Oh, I keep clicking that one as I'm just trying to just put it down. I don't like that, the red's connected. And now, where's the blue? Blue's up here. Put the blue here, then we will be connected, but blue's a bit too connected now. So we need the green to get up. If I can just block off some of this. Oh, I think. Mm. Depending where I put these, I might be able to block off the right paths. Maybe. Hmm. I need to get the green up. So to do that, I need to like block off this red from this direction. So how can I do that? I'm wondering if I can do it with this blue one. Because we've got the red connecting through the middle to where we need it to be. So we don't actually need like any of this red now. Oh, if I could just like put this up here, that'd be great. blue here as well. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, maybe not quite there. We do this for blue, we do this for blue, and then we do this one. Like that. Oh, that's not strong enough to block off the, the red. That one. There. Okay, we block the red by doing that. We only have the red we need, but we still have not got the green up here. There's still too much blue because of this laser up here. We, there's there's so much here. We need to add to the green. We need to add to the green. We need to add more green. Oh, but I can't do that with these connectors like this. Huh. Oh, also empty. Hello. Welcome, welcome. Oh, every time you see Talos Principal, you can't help but think of me. I'm not I'm, I feel honoured to hear that. Thank you. <laughs> that, that makes me so happy. But I hope you're doing well. Thank you for stopping in. Oh, I would love to do a... I would love to voice in the next Talos Principal game. I'm. Part of me wants to make that like a life goal. <laughs> Even if it's just like a bit roll, just a single line from a single character, I would love that. I'm... New life aspiration unlocked. Right, I'm going to remove the blues again so much blue here. It's... So we need to get to the, this green to here. So we need to block this off. Oh, wait. No. Block this off with the red. And then block red off with the blue. Why Why did I not think of that sooner? And I do this and block, block red off with the blue. Oh, that's not strong enough to block off the blue from here. Hmm. Oh, I think. Oh. Okay, here we go. So we got one. I'm adding another point here. Oh, I thought the red would have more push there. Ah. thought the red would have more power like this, but I'm I'm making it extend out longer by doing that so it doesn't quite work. Not quite. Right, I'm gonna bring these back. 
Hmm. Ah, oh, you stared at this one for a full hour. <laughs> Made you get the painkillers. Good times. Good times. Oh, thank you for the posture check too. Let me ah, sit up straight. Sit up straight. There we go. And ready. Assume the, the puzzle solving position. There we go. Okay. Right, because this one is very much about, like, the only way to get the green is from the top. But the blue is connected to the top, so ideally I need to cut that off somehow. If I do... I didn't mean to connect to that one too. Like, if I do that, it's still like this. But what if, if I do that... Yeah, I've extended it, so... Oh, what if I do that, though? Okay, I block the blue. I block the blue from there. And so then from that point, I can also do that one. And I've got the red connection. Okay, red. Red completed, blue blocked off at the top. Now I just need to connect the blue... ...to here, and also block the red from here. If I do that, that's not quite enough, but I think if I do that maybe. Yes, 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 yes. I love lasers. I love lasers. I love lasers. I love these puzzles. I love the way they've introduced these like blocking, adding, connecting like mechanics to just the base lasers. I love it. I love this. That was so tricky. That was great. I like that one. It sounds so crunchy. It's kind of terrifying. Okay. Number 16. <gasps> but even love has a context. Connect. And the happiness of those who surround us can lift us up just like their unhappiness can drag us down. As we improved New Jerusalem, things got better between us in subtle ways that affected every interaction. Our flaws never went away, but as the world around us became more forgiving, we became more capable of forgiving each other. That's why I was excited about New Alexandria. We're almost there. Just one more file. This one may be harder to extract than the others. Okay. Oh, I was gonna see if I could try and like position these symmetrically in a way that makes it look really pretty, but it didn't quite work. Very pretty though. But yeah, I was, I was just moving things around to see if I could make things work well. But it's, it's tricky though, because like the lasers are all symmetrical, but the way they're positioned is different, which makes it tricky. But I, I can imagine there are other ways to make it look prettier. I, I was like, I don't care how pretty it looks. I, the fact that it is lasers means it's pretty enough for me. <laughs> but yay. Okay, time to recover the last fragment. I am... <sighs> Hello, the large. I'm entering the large, I see. Oh, that looks so cool. Oh, this looks so cool. Oh, this looks so cool. I'm inside the large. Oh my goodness, okay. Let me start connecting. Right, this side. 
connector. Where's it? From here? What can I see from this angle? Because I saw the connectors on the inside. I, I feel like I'm going to have to connect the right things to the right connectors on each part. Hold on, I'm going to go inside again. Bam, 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 bam. Right, there's a green right there. There's a red there. There's a blue there. Blue. Green. Okay, so red, blue, blue, green. Okay. I'm trying to figure out where I am in comparison to everything. It's probably fine. It's probably fine. Also, Suzume, hello! Welcome, welcome. Thank you for the raid. Welcome on in. Welcome to laser time. I'm, I've got lasers. I'm playing with lasers. It's probably not very recommended. But I love lasers. But welcome in! Gay Wolf Raid! How's it going? How was the stream? Happy Sapphic Sunday. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the regularly scheduled Sapphic Sunday raid. I feel honored. <laughs> But thank you so much to anyone who's new here. Hello, I'm Liri. I'm a pink-haired cat girl from the UK, and I love comfy games and puzzle games, and I'm puzzling again in Talos 2 with the DLC, and I'm so happy. It's all laser puzzles at the moment. I'm so happy. I'm, I'm having such a good time. But thank you for the raid. Oh, and Dima, thank you for the hydrate and posture check too. Let me have a big stretch. And a sip of my monster. Right, now, from where this puzzle is, it feels like I can perfectly reach something in here, maybe. Like, there's little gaps in between. I think it's about connecting lasers. So I've got blue. Is there a blue I can connect to? Through the gaps? Oh. Is that blue? I can't tell. I'm gonna go have a look. <laughs> I stuck a laser going up there. It kind of twists me as I'm going in, so I'm not sure if I'm going the right way. Oh, see, this is... Yeah, I need to connect more to the outside to make them the right colors in here. Oh, unless I can literally just block. No, I... Oh, I, I can walk up. Okay, okay. Can I block lasers? Oh, I could... There's, it's just up here. I was, I was going to be so cool and be like, ah, oh, I'm going to connect everything from the outside. I probably can just do it all from in here. Never mind. I'm a little silly, but that's okay. Okay, so this needs to be blue. More blue. Because that also needs to be blue. That also needs to be blue. There's a lot that need to be blue over on this side. So I need to head over that way. Oh, you've heard I've been very excited for Road to Elysium. I've been so excited. I'm so happy to be playing this game. I love this game so much. <laughs> I love it so much. <sighs> it's a big long green over here. So where is the green? the start of the green laser? Hold on. Is it further down? Oh, it's there. There, there it is. I see it. Oh, they're like flowers. The ones that have like the little flower stars, that's where each laser starts. I see now. I see. <laughs> cool meta puzzles in Dallas too. What was I thinking? 
<laughs> well, I, I, I just, I, I was kind of hoping. I, I like big, large scale puzzles. <laughs> right, okay, so the green, I've gotten those greens connected, I think. Red, I need these two reds connected, so if I do that, and the red over here, that connects the two reds, and now I do the blue. Oh, I only have two? I only have two connectors. I need to, I'm gonna have to block to make the blue reach, I think. Oh, I think I block them going down. And I make the blue like connect. Oh, it's like it's like a triangle of blue here. So from here, I've got the green, so I'll block the red there. Maybe, hopefully. I'll block the red there and there. And now with from the other side, I've got the red, so I will block the green. From there. And there. Yes? Okay, they're still not blue though. <laughs> oh, the blue laser's like all the way over here, so I'm... So they're not connecting around. Oh, I need to, yeah, I need to block one more as well. Also block the red from here. Can I? Oh, here. Okay, there, blocked all the red. Now I block that last green. It's gonna be... That one? That? Yeah, now the blue's lit as well. I did it, there we go. Ha ha. Got him. Yeah. It's so high up. It's so high up. Okay, is this the last fragment? Okay. Oh, first one. Oh, oh. Ah, that's that's interesting. Okay, okay, I will collect the fragment. When I saw the explosion coming, I knew it was the end. My end. The power plant was gone. The backup center was collapsing. The street was cracking open. And the fireball was about to engulf me. What a way to go. Oh. In that millisecond, I shut down every process except my mind. I turned off my audiovisual input. I rerouted all of my power, pushed my processor to the breaking point. Time slowed down. I didn't think about regret. I didn't think about death. I spent every last moment I could scrape together thinking about you. That's devastating. I'm... Wow. Wow. You did it. Come to the extraction point and I'll pull you out. This is... Wow. Odd. Oh? We have Sarabai's complete memory archive, but there's still some file fragments left in the system. Ah. Well, you can look for them if you want to, 1K. I know you're always curious, but what matters is that we've got Saravai. Yeah, I'm not going back yet. Of course I'm not going back yet. Who do you think I am? Oh. Okay. The fact that there's like three mysterious files and three like branches up here it makes me wonder 
makes me curious. And also the fact that I could connect outside lasers inside the thing also makes me curious. Hold on, I'm gonna go back in. See, I wonder if this can be connected differently in any way. I'm not going back yet. I'm not going back yet. What are these mysterious files? Where will they be? I must search. What's over there? Have I been there? I don't think I've been there. I saw that QR code earlier, but I never figured out how to reach it, I don't think. Unless it's just the side of another level that I definitely did reach and just forgot about it. No, there's like a little path over here. How can I get over here? How can I get over here? Whoa. <laughs> I didn't mean to fall. This is bad. I didn't mean to fall here. Can I even get back up from here? I don't know if I can get back up from here. I'm so silly. I'm so silly. I did not mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. Oops. Oops. That didn't happen. <laughs> it didn't happen. <gasps> oh, that way. That way. I need to I need to figure out how to get over to that place first. Now that I saw it. But okay, I I know where the extra fragments are now. I am just silly. There has to be a way to get here. Can I just go like up and up and around? I must try. I have to try. Also, Ube, hello! Oh my goodness, thank you for the reset for 25 months. Oh my goodness. Welcome, welcome. Oh, I wait, I think I know what I do here. I think I know what I do here, maybe. from here. I'm making stairs. I'm gonna try and make stairs. Wah. But a welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the resub. Welcome. I, I just did the main puzzles of this DLC and I'm now trying to see if I can do other silly things. Because I'm a smart person. Who makes clever decisions like a, a very clever person. Like building a little tower of hexahedons. Boo. 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 Hmm. Maybe not from here. But I want to be like the outside of this room. Do I just. I could. I, I think I might be able to just pass a bunch of these over this hole in the wall if I stack it up and up. I have to try. Oh, you actually used photo mode to reach it and took a photo of the screen with Google Lens to scan the QR. That is smart, but I want to reach it. And it's very clever. That's a really good way of just seeing what it says, but I, I want to touch it with my little robo hands. <laughs> It would have been much faster if I hadn't stacked them all up in that room, but uh, let them learn. Okay, I'm stacking it here. Oh, why are you sliding like that? Okay. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. I was so close. No, I just I just dropped it on top of the stack by doing that. Come 
can't drop here. I don't see why not. Let's try like that. And then that. And then whoop. Can't drop here. Can't drop here. Please. I'm, this is such a cube shaped gap. This is this is a gap for a cube. Why oh I think I'm stuck. Yeah, I think I got stuck. It just like forced me onto the floor. <laughs> I tried. Hold on, I wonder if I can If I stack them up high enough, I wonder if I can just pull one down? Maybe? If I do that? No, I can't. I can't pick it up. I. Oh, cube! It's right there. It's right there. I'm gonna. Okay, I'm gonna leave that. I will leave it. But I do want to know what's around here, so I'm gonna try jumping very carefully. Hopefully, not falling off the edge this time. I may still fall off the edge, knowing me. want to get up and over something there I just want to reach it but alas ha huh. maybe I leave this for now but I'm I'm not giving up I will return for it I will I will not leave anything behind in this game I will return Okay, I'm gonna do something silly. Wah! Maybe not that silly? Okay, and climb, and climb, and climb. Oh, I, d I did it, I did it, I made it over. Ha ha ha! Just a little silly moment. Oh yes, oh yes, there we go. Now I need to know what this says. I have to know what this says now. <laughs> Give me a second. I need to know what this says. Can you scan the text? Let's see what this says. Yeah, I, I'm just scanning it with my phone right now. <laughs> Easier than trying to write it all out. And then I go... Ba -ba -bong. And it says... Oh! Without contraries, there is no progression. Okay! Very interesting. Without contraries, there is no progression. I guess that's true. Like, are you really progressing if there isn't any kind of obstacle or hindrance in the way? Hehehe. <laughs> nice. I made it. Oh, this is probably. Oh, this is. I think this may be the intended way to get there, maybe. Yeah, that seems like it would have been an easier path to get up. <laughs> but I got it! <laughs> right, let's let's go actually get these fragments now. <laughs> the door's open. Oh. This music is so incredible. The music's so good. I never knew how much beauty there was in people. Every person contains a world. What's that sound? That 
that's oh, that's the sound. Well, okay. Cool. All right. Oh wow. Okay. What's going on? Oh, they're all like canceling each other out. Because they're all the same strength, they're all like individually cancelling each other out and then cancelling out the next one. And then cancelling out the next one. Hmm. I'm gonna start just very straightforward doing like this. the third one. Hmm. Maybe there's only two of them. So I, I guess I need to start with the blue then. Okay, so now this is here. But now, oh yeah, that's powering the fans. So I can't get past. Okay. Hmm. I need to set it up so they're all blocking each other. that here like this. I'll put this here like this. This here like this. No, they don't block each other like this. This one goes here. This one goes here one goes here. And now they'll take it in turns, blocking each other off? Yes! Hmm. In theory? Maybe not. Oh, this one's not gonna be blocked off, because this one's just always on. How do I block that one? I need to somehow block this laser. <laughs> How do I block that one? Hold on. Hmm. Oh no, this one's just not getting blocked, that's why. Oh, I know what I did wrong. I know what I did wrong. I, I, I set it up wrong. I set it up wrong. Yeah, I love, I love the way they did that. Yeah, they, they taught the rule immediately on like, the way to like make them block each other off in such a good way. Let me try doing it like this. And then like that. Oh, not quite. Hmm. You need to make a little triangle in the middle, I think. No, that's that's this is like the least triangle. That's Blocking the wrong way around doing it like that. Right, I need to set it up, definitely. So that... It connects... And then is also blocked off and connects... Like that. I don't think 
this is going to work either as well. No, they're, they're blocking off too much like this. Oh, this is interesting. Yeah, these are trickier ones. I see you. Oh, you'll lurk to not spoil yourself. That is completely fine. That is very fine. But thank you for the lurks. Thank you for the lurks. I'm... I'm not sure whether to, like, keep trying with these ones or to go for part two. Because it's like, I can tell now this is like the equivalent of, like, the gold puzzles. And before I, I did, like, all of the base stuff and then went back for the harder additional stuff. I'm not sure exactly which way around I want to do this. connect them to like two at a time. by doing that. Some barrier this side too. Yep, okay. Start by opening barrier. Barrier opened. Okay, so that switch is off. I'm not going to switch off the other switch, just in case. There's like a... Ah, I see. There's like a... There's a... There's a fence around it. I was wondering why I couldn't connect that. Alright, so let's just start with this. Okay, I can go around here, and then if I press that, that lights up there. That goes up to there, but then I need the blue as well. Oh, but there's a blue laser over here. Mm-hmm. Oh, I can't bring them through here. Huh. But I can't place this. This is gonna like block this laser. If I connect this to the blue as well. Oh, hold on. Unless. I don't need to keep that door open anymore. Ah, no, it's still like the wrong way around. I was like, maybe I can like go around, around the edges. Make a little triangle around it, but I don't think so. Right, I think what I'm gonna do is I will leave these ones. To return to? But I don't know if I should like exit the simulation and get like the ending question mark 
and then come back and get like true ending. But I know it saves. Yeah, let's let's exit the simulation. I'm gonna exit the simulation and go on to two. Just because I really do want to, to poke my nose into the next one as well. So I, th I think I'm gonna exit. I'm gonna exit. Death, be not proud, though some have called thee mighty and dreadful, for thou art not so. For those whom thou thinkest thou dost overthrow die not, poor death. Nor yet canst thou kill me. From rest and sleep, which but thy pictures be, much pleasure. Then from thee much more must flow, and soonest our best men with thee do go, rest of their bones and souls' delivery. Thou art slave to fate, chance, kings, and desperate men, and dost with poison, war, and sickness dwell. And poppy or charms can make us sleep as well and better than thy stroke. Why swell'st thou then? One short sleep past, we wake eternally, and death shall be no more. Death, thou shalt die. We did it. We did it. We brought her back. Necromancy 1K is real. <laughs> Uh, love and hate that we can see Cornelius is actually saying all this. I feel like it's such a... What an incredible way to to come back from the dead. Really. Because that's exactly what happened. Like, Sarabai was just like, yeah, I'm dead. I remember the moment when I realized I was about to die. And now suddenly she's being brought back in that situation. Like that... Wow. <sighs> ah, I love this game. I love this game. But yeah, I think th those definitely look like like additional bonus. Those are the tricky star puzzles. <laughs> so I I think that will be like I'll go back to that once I've done the three and see how it goes but i i, I want to i want to poke my nose into the second one now like I, it's already half past midnight <laughs> but i still want to check it out either way <laughs> i'm gonna have some of my monster too Great soundtrack too. I just I love this game. I love it so much. <laughs> My name's Cornelius and I'm here to say I hate death in a major way. <laughs> Can you imagine if he just starts like a rap battle as Sarabai's being resurrected? It's like you're back from the dead. Now ain't that neat. 1K did it. I I can't think of anything else. Never mind, that, that rap battle didn't go very well. I would lose in a rap battle. We have learned. But ah, oh, welcome back! Oh, you're trying it again yourself! Oh, good luck. Good luck. Oh, and seeing Cornelius made you realize video and audio aren't synced on your end. Oh, I, I, I wonder if that's a connection issue or like... I don't know if you, you have like Bluetooth headphones or anything, because sometimes I notice a bit of latency delay with Bluetooth stuff. But yeah, I think I think I want to move on to the next. Yeah, you did the same order of basic completion onto the next DLC, come back for the hardest later. Yeah, that's it's usually how I do it. It's the reason like I hesitated was because of them being more like standalone as they are. I was like, well, should I fully finish one before the next? But I think that like with the save and the save files and stuff, I th I think I'm safe to return to it afterwards. Especially if the third one is as dastardly as it sounds, which I am extremely excited for. And plus, I like like getting a look at the level and then just thinking about it afterwards as well when I'm lying in bed after the stream. It's how I solved some of the, the harder ones in the base game. 
like stepping away from it being like well I'll come back to this next week and then I'd lie in bed and be like wait I've just had a thought I wonder if and th those are like my my biggest brain moments I think <laughs> when I'm about to sleep and then I'm like oh I must remember this and then it's, it's it's a coin toss as to whether I do remember it or not if I just fall asleep afterwards but usually I do I do with the important brainwave moments. Right. Oh, look, the title screen changed. That's so cool. I guess it's like whatever you last had a save file in. Right, let's go for two. Let's go. Oh, Isle of the Blessed. Embark on a puzzle-driven adventure set on a stunning Caribbean island. Solve an array of fresh medium difficulty puzzles, culminating in the hexahedron. <gasps> this is the cool tower thingy I thought. Yes, okay. Okay, we're starting the next one. <laughs> I'm excited. Oh, okay, you've only done DLC one. Oh, that is fine. Have a lurk, have a lurk along. Yesterday we obeyed kings and bent our necks before emperors. I did not read that. Hold on. I'm going back so I can read it properly. I got distracted. <laughs> uh, let's continue from just starting it. Sorry, I had to go for some time. Did you miss Pac-Man Miku? Yeah, I got eaten. It was really dramatic. Sorry about that. Oh. But, oh, gonna tune out. That is completely fine. That's, that's fine. Have a look. I just want to have a little peek inside. Because <laughs> I'm curious. But uh, thank you. It's it's not a problem. Don't don't worry about being around for stuff because I th this has just come out. I I really did just wait like a couple of days. But yeah, I wanna I wanna have a look. So here we go. Isle of the Blessed. Yesterday we obeyed kings and bent our necks before emperors, but today we kneel only to truth. Follow only beauty and obey only love. Khalil Gibran. Gibran? Gibran? I'm so bad with names. Oh, a quote you'll forever associate with the original Deus Ex. Oh, I, I never. Never knew. <laughs> oh my god, crap! We're approaching the island now. Looks nice. A lot less threatening than the megastructure. I, I mean, it, no offense. It's, you know, it's just less pointy. Don't no worry. offense taken. I hear Barzai has done an incredible job creating this exhibition. And what a lovely opportunity to spend some time together as a family. So, Yakut, Miranda tells me you'll be solving some of the puzzles? Did she? Um, I, I hadn't really thought about it. Yes. But, um. You know, back in my day, all we could do was solve puzzles. That's right, in the simulation. And we're all very grateful for it. So you know how important puzzles are to this family. Mom, Of wait, course, I'm gonna solve all the puzzles. Even the freaky giant cube. I hear Barzai's even created gold puzzles and star puzzles. <laughs> it's going Amazing. to be just perfect for you. Oh, that's great. Yay. The way yeah, Kate, incredible. don't listen to them. They're terrible old robots. What? I'm the founder. Everything I do is serious. I can confirm that. <laughs> Wait, this is incredible. Wait, we are just... Okay. I love how we went from like resurrecting the dead, the meaning of love, and now we're just going on a, a family vacation. Hello. I'm so glad you could make it. Hello, Mr. Mayor. How are things on Barzai's Island? Barzai seems pretty pleased. 1K and Melville got here this morning. 1K's already solved all the puzzles, of course. And Melville's somewhere. <laughs> She was testing the sensory receptor upgrade. 
Al's here, too. I haven't talked to him yet. You should do that. Uh, maybe. Meanwhile, relax, enjoy yourselves, and I heard you were going to be joining in the puzzling, Yakut. He can do whatever he wants to. The, the, the numbers you are You don't have to solve puzzles to impress I'm... me, Yakut. No, no, I... I... Are you kidding? I can totally do this. I love this. <laughs> Excellent. Love this. Well, good luck, and we'll see you around. This is incredible. This is great. I'm so glad I decided to peek into here. I think I am. <laughs> oh. It's okay. 1K already did them all. Yeah, I've, I've already completed this whole DLC ah, segment now. <laughs> I see we have a new group. Welcome to my latest exhibition, Freedom from Necessity. There are many puzzles for you to solve here, inspired by the events that restored Athena to us. But the most important thing you have to keep in mind is their purpose, which is none. We are not here because of voices in the sky or tragedies of the past, but because we choose to. I love it. We solve puzzles because it is joyous, it is beautiful, and it is human. <laughs> I love this. I love that the goal in the corner just says impress Miranda. Like the first thing I saw, I was just like, that is a mighty goal. That is a, a very worthwhile goal. I, I, this is, I love this. I love this. This is so good. There are those in New Jerusalem who fear that understanding the language of creation is the end of our journey. <laughs> but that is like saying that literacy is the end of learning, when in fact it is the beginning. Only now are we really capable of reading the great and terrible book of the universe. <laughs> and only now can we start to write our own chapters. Oh, this is great. This is so good. This is such a different vibe from the first one. <laughs> oh my goodness, I love this. I also love it just popped up with a thing as well that was just like uh, describing something that vanished too quickly for me to read, but at the end it just said, simple. It's easy. Good times. Bum, bum, bum. Right, I'm just gonna wander around to begin with. I'm not even going to do any puzzles yet. I just want to explore. Look at the crops. I love them. I love them. I love them. I love them so much. Also, I know this message is please uh, gently taps the, the pinned message. <laughs> gently taps the pinned message. Please don't point things out to me. Please don't mention things. I'm, ex I'm discovering this stuff on my own. I'm, I'm finding this stuff on my own, so. <laughs> So please, please don't point things out to me unless I, I'm actively, like, asking. Oh, if I missed something, is there something I've missed? Can someone tell me? <laughs> Thank you. Because that's part of the, the joy of the discovery for me as well, because it's all... This is all so new. It's so brand new. There's so much... So much to explore, so much to see. Also, the... The graphics are definitely, the frame rate's definitely a little more framey in this area. I think I will have to change the graphics settings when I'm going through fully. But oh, this is, I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this. <gasps> there's even, there's even these as well. <gasps> there's even like the, oh my goodness. Oh, this is great. I love this exhibition. This is so good. What a good job designing this whole place. This is so... I, the fact that I'm playing as Yakut just fills me with so much joy. It makes me so happy. I'm just... I, I'm so proud of him. He could have just said no. He could have just said, no, I don't like puzzles. I'm not going to do them. But he's going to. He's... He's just, he's gonna try his best. Okay, what's, what's this? 
I believe in a creator because I experience a creative force within myself that seems connected to or reflective of something greater. A drive towards being and becoming inherent in the universe itself. The discovery of the theory of everything has not undermined that belief. Oh no, uh, to the contrary. I believe that the language of creation reveals a creator who sees no difference at all between mathematics and music, whose suns and planets are notes of a melody, whose galaxies are symphonies. A nebula is a painting, an atom is a machine, and they are all part of a masterpiece. And if I'm mistaken and there is no creator, then the duty of finishing the masterpiece falls to us. Oh, I love Barzai. I love this. This is great. I love that it literally is just like from the, the high stakes, can we do this thing? This is massive if we can do this. To just, we're, we're just going on holiday now. We're just gonna, we're gonna go to the beach. We're gonna have a good time. We're gonna solve puzzles because everyone loves puzzles, right? Yaku, right? You, you love puzzles, right? Oh, this is great. Hold on, actually, I, I may do one puzzle. I'm gonna do the, the triangle puzzle, the, like the bonus one. Oh, actually, no, I'm just gonna wander around and find all of these. Hi! I often think about the strange inversion that occurred to the notion of progress. In the waning days of the old world, our ancestors came to believe that progress as applied to society was a myth, a narrative illusion. Despite their world changing around them, they believed that things must stay the same. I indeed, that things never really could change even if most people wanted them to. And yet, in the arts, they began to see progress as the only true value. They no longer asked, is it beautiful, is it true, is it fun? Instead, they said, is it new? Does it break conventions? Does it subvert the old? They fashioned forms increasingly alien to themselves, pursuing something they could never find because they were looking for it in the wrong place. To fully pursue truth and beauty, art must be liberated from the notion of progress. But this liberation could never be accomplished by art itself. Art does not precede the world, and it was always the world that had to be transformed. Ah. See, I fully agree there. That, like, innovation is really cool. It is really cool when there's like, this is something new. This has never been done before. This is like exclusive and completely original and amazing. But at the same time, cliches are cliches for a reason. Like the same topics tend to crop up in media because they're proven to be enjoyable and fun and so you don't always need something that's like super revolutionary and incredible and never seen before or original sometimes you just want something comfortable that you're used to sometimes you're just like you know what i don't want something to make me think i want something that will stop me thinking i want something i can just enjoy without having to switch my brain off <laughs> and i think they both have value but it's really important to remember that like sometimes it is okay to just enjoy something simple sometimes it's completely fine to just to just be like you know what this isn't groundbreaking this isn't revolutionary but i like it and that's enough, I think. I think that's more than enough. <laughs> I love to... Wait, I can talk to people! <gasps> There's people, I can talk to people. Okay, that's how I'm spending the rest of the stream, I think. <laughs> yeah, th there's always those weird experimental works at small art expos. But see, I love that kind of thing. I love when people have the freedom to, like, experiment and do weird stuff. Because that's so much fun. But at the same time, it's like, I don't only want experimental weird stuff. Like, sometimes I want the comfy stuff I'm used to. Like, sometimes I'm really in the mood for something really hard-hitting and gripping and original. And then other times I want to just curl up and enjoy a, a gentle rom-com. It's... <laughs> 
Yeah. Yeah, I guess fun is quite subjective. It is, because what one person enjoys, another person might not. It's, it's all very personal to what you like. But that's, that's why the world is so great, because there's a bit of everything. Like, if you don't like cliches, then there is all that original stuff out there. If you like all of it, then you've got all of it. If you like a little bit of one thing and more of another, then you can do that. Right, stop walking away. I want to talk to you. Oh, wait, maybe I... Oh, oh I'm shy. I'm shy now. Hold on. Uh, hi. Hey. You're cute. Can we talk for a moment, please? Of course. Are you okay? Of course. Are you okay? Oh. I was just looking at the waves. Relaxing. And suddenly I started thinking... Am I a terrible person, Yakut? What? I caused so much pain. I drove mother and father apart. I almost derailed the entire future just because I was arrogant and entitled and self-important and... Now I just get to have a cool boyfriend and colonize planets and sit on beaches and... I mean, when you word it like that, it doesn't sound great. How is this fair? How is any of this fair? Nothing is fair. <laughs> I love that one of the options here is just, wait, you think I'm cool? <laughs> oh, it isn't, the universe isn't fair, it just is. Everyone makes mistakes, you've learned from yours and that's what matters. It wasn't all you, Miranda. Oh, well, see, I, I really love this answer. I think this is hilarious and possibly what Yakut would say. But I really like this one. Everyone makes mistakes, you've learned from yours and that's what matters. I, I think that's a really important thing here. It's like, it's very human to make mistakes. <laughs> Wait, you think I'm cool? No, I'm gonna pick this one. Everyone makes mistakes. You've learned from yours, and that's what matters. That's, I guess that's true. It is true. But why do I find it so hard to accept all these good things that have happened to me? Uh, I don't know. It's the same for me sometimes, or... I think we spent most of our lives in a world that made it very hard to like yourself. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I don't know what to pick here. I'm... Hmm. I think I prefer the uncertainty. The... I don't know. It's the same for me sometimes. I, I feel like that... Like, this is, like, a very poignant line. I really do like this, but I I think in this moment, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's the same for me sometimes. Then we'll figure it out together. That seems like a sensible plan. It does. Now, do you want to talk about something else? I'm done being dramatic. Hey, it's okay. You can be dramatic if you want to. Uh... <laughs> There's so many options here. How are your parents? You know, we really should visit Eustathius at some point. Did you come up with any crazy new ideas while I was solving puzzles? How do you like the exhibition? Can you invent a litter tray that disintegrates cat poo? And when you think about the future, what are the dangers that we face? Can you invent a litter tray that disintegrates cat poo? <laughs> That's a brilliant idea. I can definitely do that. Yes. Just have to make sure it only disintegrates oh. the poo that's oh. outside the oh. cat. <laughs> that's terrifying. That's a terrifying answer. Actually, I've changed my mind. How are your parents? How are your parents? Healing, I think. Still a long way to go, but I'll get there. That's a lot to go through. Athena has gone through a lot. It's going to take her a while, I think. Oh, also, I love how I keep, like, instinctively reading the lines out loud, but I don't have to because Yakut is fully voice acted. I don't have to read them. You know, we should really visit Eustathius at some point. You're right. I've been meaning to get to know him, and he did invite us. I'll send him a message. Maybe we can go next week. Yeah. Did you come up with any crazy new ideas while I was solving puzzles? It's not a new idea. Alexander Drennan came up with it first, but... Dinosaur Planet. Oh, 
Obviously, no. there were lots of dinosaur species no. over millions of years, but I'm certain we no. could put together a functional ecosystem no. that supports all the really cool ones. I mean, not now. I know but maybe how that in a goes. thousand or two thousand years. I know how that story goes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I really love as well. It's just like, did you think of anything while I was solving puzzles? All, all these puzzles I've definitely solved. Like, yeah, I, I, I sure solved that puzzle over there. Um, I d definitely solved. Yes, yes. How do you like the exhibition? I listened to some of Barzai's recordings. I'm fascinated by his view of the world, especially this notion of a creator who is reflected in his creation. Yeah. I'd love to hear him debate Lithrasir. Oh, God. If we ever find him. <laughs> that would be very interesting. When you think about the future, what are the dangers that we face? Armies of rogue litter trays mercilessly disintegrating us. No. Okay. <laughs> uh, to be honest, I think it's scale. Oh. The Earth is a tiny place by comparison to the infinite vastness of the cosmos. The theory of everything gives us incredible amounts of power, but there are stars out there the size of our solar system. Mm. There are black holes of a trillion solar masses, not to mention the anomaly. All right. <laughs> All right. Gotta go. Love you. Love you too. No. No. I love them. I love them so much. I love Yakut and Miranda so much. They make me so happy. They make me so happy. Ah. Ah, so good. Ah, please, please don't point out things in dialogue. <laughs> Thank you. Right, should I talk? Should I talk to Cornelius and Athena? Yeah, let's let's talk to Cornelius. How are you doing? Hello, Yakut. Ah, Miranda said you're working on a new project. Miranda said you're working on a new project. Oh, I keep reading them still. <laughs> That's right. I'm trying to determine whether it's possible to salvage the individual personalities that were uploaded from Gehenna. <laughs> oh, oh, shouldn't that be easy? Oh, I, I, I'm, I'm reading it again. I'm doing it. I'm doing it again. I'm not 1K. I'm Yakut. Shouldn't that be easy? Now that we basically understand everything? We understand the rules of the universe, but that doesn't mean we have no limitations. There's a lot of data from the simulation that simply no longer exists. If I just fill it in with my best guess, I'm not really recreating the citizens of Gehenna, am I? There's no continuity. I'm just creating something similar. Yeah, that makes sense. Ooh. Similar is better than nothing. You're right, they wouldn't really be themselves, or I think there would be continuity at a deeper level, something beyond that perception. Honestly, I like this. Like, they probably would be different. They probably wouldn't be the same person, but they would stem from that same part. So even if it went in a different direction, they'd still be the essence of them there. I think it would be worth I doing. think there would be Continuity at a deeper level. Something beyond our perception. Hmm. The soul, eh? Yeah. Well, there may be no evidence of such a thing, but I do understand why some people still believe in it. Unfortunately, the mere possibility of something like that existing isn't enough to solve this ethical dilemma. <laughs> at least not for me. Yeah. What do you think? Oh, I, I... Let, let me let Yakut speak. I'm, I keep talking over him. I'm so sorry. What do you think of the exhibition? I'm not an art critic. I'm just here to enjoy this beautiful island and to spend time with my family. Yeah. I love that he's just like, I, I don't care about the puzzles. I'm on holiday. <laughs> How do you see the future of our civilization? Do you think we're doing okay? I'm optimistic. Not desperately trying to maintain my faith in humanity, just looking forward to what's next. I'm sure there will be some bumps in the road here and there, but yeah, 
I think we're doing okay. Me too. I think we're doing okay as well. Do you have any idea what that anomaly is? I mean, the one that Athena discovered in space. Perhaps it's something the theory of everything genuinely doesn't account for. Perhaps it's something entirely within the laws of physics, but in some way we haven't thought of. Or perhaps my brother Eustathius is right, and it's evidence of the prime mover. Prime mover. Either way, it's a reminder to stay humble. What's the biggest danger we face as a civilization? I don't know. We're only just getting started, and each era of development has its own challenges. But if I had to venture a guess, I would say solipsism. In liberating the individual, we're making social bonds more and more optional. Ah. We will have to learn to choose to be social. Ah. Interesting to think about. But I, I love how he's just here on holiday. He's just here to relax on the beach, have a good time. Yakut's here like, so what do you think about the future of civilization? Um, do you think the world's going to end? Um, what do you think? <laughs> Yakut, please just sit down, poke a crab, do a puzzle. Just <laughs> your dedication to your family is uh. incredibly inspiring. How can I be more like you? You flatter me. But I don't know if I'm really a good role model. I made so many mistakes, and the only reason we're here is because other people picked up the slack. You were part of that, Yakut. <laughs> don't sell yourself short. It's you and one K and the others took this enormous, unbearable tragedy and turned it into a triumph of love and life. That doesn't Aww. happen every day. Oh, I love it. Also, uh, Crucifix, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. I hope you enjoy your time here. Okay, I should... I love Yakut just being... I, I guess I should, um, you know, just like pointing at the puzzles with his thumb. Like, I'll, I'll just... Um, I should... Uh... Okay. I should... Off you go. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Here on holiday, just considering everything in the world whatsoever. <laughs> Man, I'm here to enjoy the beach, not talk a lot. <laughs> oh, I, I feel like that's so accurate for Yakut as well, though. He's like, I love him so much, but he worries about everything. Sometimes I... I wish, I wish he could just relax and have a good time, but I, I don't... I don't think he could in this situation right now, especially not with all these puzzles. Like, maybe he will relax once the puzzles are done, and Miranda is really impressed, and he's just, like, the coolest in the world. But until then, he's not gonna, like, relax. <laughs> he's, he's not gonna enjoy this vacation and just chill out and have a good time. He's so nervous about impressing her. He wants, he wants to make a good impression. All right, let's talk to Athena. What's up? the sky have you done any more research on that anomaly you discovered no one of these days but not yet for now I need to learn to live again are you enjoying the exhibition the location is wonderful and I love Barzai's ideas and themes but even though I get the point, it's too biographical for me. I can't really look back at what happened and just treat it like an inspirational story. But that's okay. The good thing is that my pain doesn't have to affect everyone else now. And I don't have to feel the weight of the world on my shoulders. That must be a relief. But yeah, I guess I guess she is a bit too close to the source material to fully enjoy it. <laughs> what did it feel like being the first to step foot on another world? At first, I wasn't sure it should be me, but 1K convinced me, yeah. and I'm glad he did. Yeah. As for what it felt like, it felt like keeping a promise I made to Alexandra Drennan. She wanted us to reach for the stars. 
And after all this time, we finally did. Oh, aliens? Who, who was the one obsessed with aliens? Is it Jacques? I think it was Jacques. Do you think we'll make first contact soon? With aliens, I mean. I don't know. I'm sure there's life all over the universe, and some of it must be intelligent. But the distances are vast, and most of the universe is barren, so it might take a few more years before we find another civilization. Then again, our wormhole technology still needs a lot of refinement. So who knows what will happen when we finish the next version? True, who knows? Yes, Jack. I just remember always like, well, it could be aliens. <laughs> and everyone just being like, it's not aliens. Even though it could have been. Barzai believes that there's a creator, a mind that made the universe. What do you think? If the language of creation is a melody, could there be a composer? I suppose so. But who created the creator? And if the creator was always there, why can't the melody have always been there? Mm -hmm. Is it so much worse if we were created by the inherent beauty of the cosmos and not by a person? It's the old, it's the uh, what came first, the chicken or the egg thing, isn't it? <laughs> now that you've been free for some time, do you think we picked the right path? I think it would be dangerous to assume that we can't make mistakes, but they don't have to be the same mistakes. War, oppression, exploitation. I don't believe that these are just part of the human condition. I think they're childhood diseases and their time is over. Okay, okay. That is very optimistic thinking. That is <laughs> very optimistic thinking. But I'm here for it. Also, like I'm realizing now with everything going on, this kind of like implies that the the canon ending for the game is the one where you like activate the the machine and have the theory of everything. So that's very interesting as well. I mean, it kind of always felt that way playing the game. Either way, it was it was very much like this is this is the ending, and then these are alternate endings. <laughs> like if if you know what I mean. <laughs> like it felt very much like it was like an intended path for which direction the game would go in. But I didn't mind so much because it's the one I would have chosen anyway, so I'm, I'm, I'm a little biased there. But yeah, it's interesting how this like actively continues on from that. Oh, wait, yeah, relationship advice. If you have any relationship advice, I'd love to hear it. Me? Yakut. I'm the one who messed everything up. It was all of you who saved me. But, hmm. My biggest mistake was not appreciating what I had. I don't think there's ever been anyone like Cornelius. He has so much love, so much dedication, and I got so overwhelmed with grief that I almost lost him. It's strange how selfish grief can make you sometimes. <laughs> it isolates you and, yeah. you know, no matter how much we improve the world, there will always be grief. So when it rolls around, try to remember that none of us can find the answers alone. <laughs> Keep it light. <laughs> We're on holiday. We're having a great time. And grief is grief can make itself a person. You know, uh, who knows? what will happen to the world. <laughs> All right, I should go. All right, oh wait, there's a, there's a sand megastructure. Someone made a sand megastructure. I love that. Who needs a sand castle when you can make a sand megastructure instead? That's great. That's so good. Wait, hold on. Oh, let's have a look at the map quickly. Yeah, it looks like this is like the green area. This is the red area, this is the blue area, and it all meets up in the middle. Wait, I can teleport? Teleport. I guess these are like fast travel boards then? Maybe, hold on. Teleport. 
Yeah, when I find one of these, I can teleport. Wait, that's so handy. I didn't realize there was fast travel. That's great. Right. What I'm going to do now is it is past 1 a.m. now, so I'm going to dip a toe into this puzzle and then back out to make sure it saves you my game. You oh. can do this. Oh, <laughs> You can, Yakut. I believe in you. But I'm going to do it like that because I think that should save it. Yeah, saved 15 seconds ago. And I'm going to leave it at that for now and then resume this next week. I am so excited. I am so excited. I'm so glad I get to play as Yakut. I'm so happy. <laughs> I love the thought of him going into a puzzle chamber, just kind of freezing in shock for a second and then immediately leaving like, nope, 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 I can't do this. <laughs> I believe in him. Next week. Next week, we'll get him... We'll, we'll give him some time to relax on the beach and muster up the courage to step in. But he's going to he's gonna be so good at puzzling. He's going to solve all of them. I believe. I'm, I believe in him. I'm proud of him. It'll be good. <laughs> Exposure therapy will continue next week. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, right. But yeah, that seems like a good spot to leave it at for now. And yes, the, the background has changed to this area too, which I'm so glad about. But uh, with that, I shall uh, look. I will head on over to here and we can find a raid target. Thank you so much everyone for joining me today. I'm, s I'm so happy to be playing Talos again. I'm just, as soon as I started playing again, it just felt right. I'm, I was just like, I'm, I'm back home. I'm home again. I'm so happy. <laughs> I love this game. I'm so, I'm so excited to play more. I can't believe I'm making myself wait a week again. I, I want to play it. I want to keep playing now, but I, I do need to be awake in the morning. <laughs> so I'm going to leave it at that and we shall find a raid target. Let's see who's on to send a raid over to. Bum, bum, bum. There's a few people. There's a few people I know online. Oh, who shall I raid? There's so many people I know online right now. I, I don't know who to raid. <gasps> Ooh. Wait, it's been a while since I raided Check These. The lovely Cassandra Torin, the Minotaur VTuber. I haven't raided him in, in a while. Let's, let's go over to... Let's go over to his stream. Let's, let's go check out Check These. <laughs> But I'm I'm so I'm so glad to be playing it again. Yeah, this will be the last Talus for a while, so enjoy it honestly. Yeah, I'm it I I, I realize like the time between one and two as well. It's, <laughs> I'm definitely not taking it for granted. I'm gonna be enjoying it for as long as I can. But uh, I'm gonna send you over to check these the lovely Cassandra who's playing Dragon Ball Z Kakarot at the moment with Brew, who's, who doesn't know anything about Dragon Ball, I think. <laughs> so that's fun, because I also don't know anything about Dragon Ball. I know like wow. the most basic character names and stuff. I know nothing. I don't know anything. So I'm going to send you over that way. And with that, let's have the raid message. If you're subbed, we've got the bongos. If not, we will send hearts. And I'll get the raid set up to go so I can hopefully get some sleep before I go to work tomorrow. <laughs> oh, it's, it feels so good to be back though. I'm the, the laser puzzles just, I'm so happy. I love them. I love them so much. But yes, time for me to get some rest and I'm, I can't wait for next week. I'm so excited. But yes, thank you so much everyone for joining me today and until next time, bye-bye. Oh, it didn't change. Hold on. Let me try that again. Until next time. Bye-bye.